and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on this wonderful, wonderful Sunday. We have some Rocket League action coming your way. And as always, Sunday is the day for Rocket League. And on this Sunday, I am joined by the one, the only, legendary, the Holy Juan, and I myself am Daniil better to make you brown but Theo tell me how you're feeling today and what you're excited for the most another Sunday another day two of the CRL open mm -hmm. hopefully our Saints can do a bit better than they did last week losing early going to the lower bracket uh, making a bit of a run there in the lower bracket but not able to make it too far the first week we managed to win it all without dropping a single series mm -hmm. so Hopefully, that was impressive. Yeah, that was <laughs> impressive. Hopefully, our lineup of Vesh, Nitrix, and Spoods can play very well today and take it down again. I think they're playing Algonquin College That's as correct. their first matchup. Yeah, so I'm excited to see what they can do. Hopefully, they can regroup a bit after last week and play well this week. Yeah, and it's my first time being uh, up at the front of the desk for the CRL Fall Open. Uh, for the last two, I've been the one running production in the back, and I am absolutely excited to be the one at the front lines taking the action to you all today. And before we get too far into it let's just talk a little bit about what we're looking to expect today and maybe at some point we can even take a look at the bracket so we can get a real full scope of what we're looking forward to um, but like you said just a little bit ago our first opponent's going to be Algonquin College you can see their lovely logo just right there you know we have a huge <laughs> technological space here we can do all kinds of magic with the screens around here um, but that's going to be our first opponent and before we get too far in let's take a look at the bracket to see who we can face as well throughout the day First up, like we said, Algonquin College, but potentially next, we could be facing King University or UDEM Esports. Um, King University and UDEM, I haven't seen us play against. Maybe you have? Uh, I'm not sure, but all the teams in the upper bracket are very strong. These, oh, are, yeah. these are all teams you're like, yeah, we've seen we've seen these teams. One quick note, we, hit, we see Downport University up in the losers bracket. They've been a... Really strong team. Surprised oh, to see them. Yeah, that's, that's surprising, surprising to see them down there. But you know, if we get knocked down, we don't want to be playing them in the losers bracket. So hopefully, no, the Saints sir. can uh, can take Algonquin in this first match and uh, move on to play the winner of UDM and King. After that, uh, at the top of the bracket, we got U Ottawa, GVSU Blue, and mm -hmm. then we got Weber State University and Florida Atlantic. So. Uh, one of these teams, if we can keep a run going, we'll be playing one of those four teams in the finals. So hopefully our Saints can put on a great performance for us today. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited for it. Me too. Uh, again, some of the stronger teams in the lower bracket, like the Indiana Hoosiers, a, a team that we've seen a lot in the CRL fall open. Uh, and yeah, GVSU Blue, another formidable opponent that we've faced many a time in this tournament. But with all that being said, there's so much excitement to be had, um, but you can cool the excitement down just a little bit. We're not going to get right into it just yet. Teams are still getting ready. Yeah. Lobbies are still being made. Rocket League is still being rocketed. And before we go right into the action, we'll see you after a quick break.
And just like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it wouldn't be that long of a wait. We are in the action here. St. Clair Saints Green versus Algonquin College. We have our roster, Nitrix, Spoods, and Vesh here to make a statement against Algonquin College in this best of five for CRL Fall Open. Number three, we're on day two. Winner takes all for this tournament. Theo, tell me how you're feeling about the match so far. Uh, well, so far, a bit of a slow start for both teams. No goals coming in early, like we have seen uh, time and time again in the CRL Opens. But Saints uh, have a bit of a good start here. They have the ball on the side of Algonquin, but uh, won't be able to find too much here as we have our Saints, I believe, in the in the red and uh, Algonquin's in the blue. Mm -hmm. A bit of a miss on the graphic Small there. Thing there but, but it's okay. We, we, know, we know who's We're who. veterans. We exactly. can spot that. We can spot that. Nitrix is one of the Saints. You know, one of the veterans, one of the legendary players on our side. And as they volley back and forth here, Trey trying to go around and get a rebound off the net. Vesh is center field, though. It's not going to get past him. Not that I think so, oh, but a huge <laughs> shot from Freshness from behind. That could have tripped up an ordinary Rocket League player, but not Vesh. Not our one and only oh. Oh, almost rolls it in off the side. If there wasn't a teammate there, they could have centered it right in. But Nitrix sending it over to their side, trying to get the clear, but Duck doesn't want to make it that easy. Yeah, it doesn't want to make it too easy. As a minute 30 have passed, not much happening in this game, but Trey looks for a finish there. Can't find too much. Yeah, the side of the Saints have good defense right there. Duck going to be going for an aerial shot of his own. He's going to find the pass to Trey. No, he won't. Great defense from the side of the Saints. Vesh now on the counter attack. Can he find anything with this? Goes around freshness, but he's there to block it out. Now Spoods on the side. Going to look for maybe a little bit of a cross where he's going to look to take it himself. Gets a nice little bump there. Vesh with a shot on target on the Saints just like that. Take wow. a quick 1-0 lead. Well played by them. Nice pass by Spoods here. Look, knocks away the defender in the air and then Vesh just Beautiful. gets an easy shot on target. <laughs> Great mechanics great team play you love to see it from the Saints uh, hi again I whenever I watch our team play they make the game look so 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 easy but when you remember the mechanical execution and all the factors that go into making a play like that work it, it is it is again, genuinely inspiring but so close Vesh getting that goal tray there like a brick wall not letting that go through yeah, one little thing I want to say, we do have the booster uh, boost numbers on the sides now, which we never really had, so a nice little update to the graphic. Uh, very interesting, CS boost is very important yeah, in Rocket League. But uh, let's see what's going on in the game now. Saints take a quick, quick, nice lead. Hopefully they can hold on for this game. They don't need to do too much, but one more goal would be this, uh, secure this victory probably for them in this game one. But Algonquin on the attack, mm -hmm. gonna look to find something. Trey maybe can find a pass to a teammate in the middle. No, he can't find there. And it's gonna be cleared out from the side of the Saints. Can Spoots find anything on this cross? No, Duck's gonna look to just clear this one out and get rid of the threat. It's gonna be a nice little touch towards the middle, but Vesh is there in the air. Can he take the one-on-one? -on -one? Takes it around freshness, but he's there for the contest. Spoods wins a 1v1. And now can Spoods maybe get a Taking shot on target over. there? Right off the crossbar, is there anyone to finish it for the side of the Saints? No, there is not. Trey now out of the air shot with a dangerous him. shot on target. Vesh is there for the save. And we're seeing great play from both sides, great offense and defense, but defense is being the more important one here. No <laughs> goals being allowed. Both teams making great saves. And uh, well played by both teams so far. You're absolutely right. Vesh is, you said it just like you said it, you know, Vesh was there. Vesh is always there to make sure that these sneaky shots don't go through. If he was just not aware enough, that very easily could have been a goal, tying it up 1 1 for the Saints in Algonquin College. But thanks to the heads up playing coming up from the side of the Saints, still keep it, keeping the advantage, maintaining the pressure on Algonquin College with a minute and 15 seconds left. The time is ticking. It's getting a little bit scarier for Algonquin College. The way that the Saints are playing so defensively and so aggressively at the same time, just finding that corner and just keeping the ball in a way that it can't escape. And if it does, the Saints are ready to just rebound it and get it back onto the side of Algonquin College. And just like that, another shot on that is made just a little bit off angle. But again, it's not going to lead to anything too gracious for Algonquin College as Vesh is already there at the backside, ready to rebound it. Spoods centering it off, lobbing it over to the left side. Nitrix taking the shot into the net, but it is going to get picked up by Duck. Freshness speeding down the runway. Nitrix, oh, in the air. He tried to get that lined up for the perfect beam into the net. Vesh off the wall. Nobody is there to catch it, but Vesh himself passing it to himself almost. But it is going to get intercepted by Algonquin College. Vesh launching it just down the center. 
trying oh, to get for the goal. Nothing here is going to be able to stop him except Nitrix going to intercept that. It was just so close. Algonquin College almost prevented that goal, but Nitrix mid-air just sent that at a different angle that they needed to make that goal possible. Again, such heads-up gameplay and basically cementing the victory. It is not impossible, however, for Algonquin to get two in the 18 seconds that are remaining, but with what I've seen from the Saints so far, Theo, it's not looking likely. It's not looking likely. It was a, a bit of a desperation attack from Algonquin being down a goal, leaving their defense just wide open, and the Saints able to capitalize. Oh. It's going to be a goal coming out from freshness here for Algonquin. Five so seconds. Five seconds left. It is technically possible. Five Anything's seconds in a possible. dream. That's the important Exactly. Part. We've seen the Saints set up a good amount of kickoff goals, so I think that's something they practiced really hard throughout the, this week, which is, you don't want to give up kickoff goals, especially in Rocket League, so with five seconds left, let's see if Conquin can get anything going, but it's a good start for the Saints, Nitrix going to get up in the air, Trey has the ball, he's going to let it hit the ground, no duck, able to keep it up, it's a bit of a dangerous attack for the side of Conquin here, but it hits the ground, and the Saints are able to take a close game one. I think uh, both teams played a great match, uh, the first goal by Algonquin, uh, by Saints, sorry, was just mm -hmm. a very well very well played team goal. You can't get too mad at that if you're the side of Algonquin. It wasn't like they made a mistake. It was just like a nice pass, nice little bump, and a nice finish. And then the second goal, they were just getting desperate. They needed to score a goal with 30 seconds left, put all their players up, and uh, allow an easy goal. They did get one, though, in the back. So, uh, in the, towards the end, I apologize. They get one towards the end. So, maybe that's a bit of a bright spot for them. Maybe they saw something that uh, a hole in the Saints defense. So, maybe they can look to capitalize in this game, too, as we're going to get started. Game two, Saints did take the game one. It's a dangerous start for Algonquin. They get the ball right up in the Saints territory. It's going to be a nice demo, but they cannot get the finish. They Can they get the shot on target? No, they can't duck. Oh, they're not going to be happy with themselves, Algonquin, after that one. That was a very, very dangerous opportunity, but Saints able to hold on, and now are going to take control of the ball, look to go up themselves. Vesh going for the aerial attack, which he loves so yeah, much. Sneaky. Nitrix on the follow-up. And there it is. You can see him lurking in the back, waiting for the ball to drop. Like a shadow. Exactly, and he does find a nice finish. That. Nobody was expecting him to be there. I don't even think... He, well, I got to give him credit. <laughs> He's a smart guy. I think he knew exactly what he was doing, but that just felt so impromptu. It was so unplanned, nobody could have anticipated, expected, let alone defend against a shot like that. Um, and just to, while we're still, while I'm still talking here, I want to say I really like how you put that last game in a nice bow. It's a loss you can't be mad at. I, don't, I wouldn't say it would affect the mental of the team, honestly. Sometimes the other team just plays better than you. And it's nothing like, it's nothing insurmountable. It's nothing impossible. Oh. I feel like Algonquin Calls just needs to wrap up here so close. Duck, ah, just a little bit off there. I think you already spent his double in the air. He couldn't refocus and uh, roll over to get that goal. But Vesh might not be wanting to make that same mistake as he lines it up in the air. Nitrix from behind. He is looking to snipe. Spoots bouncing off the wall, landing near the center. Algonquin gets the defense off. Nitrix rolling it off the wall, sending it flying. Not actually. Algonquin's players are being very brutal, like sharks in the water. They smell blood, and they want this ball. They're not going to give it up. Relentlessly pushing forward. Trey even the flying shot. right into the wall, trying to get the shot. But the aggression pays off as Freshness sends a rock it directly into the net, 75 kilometers per hour. I don't know if that's fast by Rocket League standards, <laughs> but I wouldn't want to be standing next to that thing going through into the net. And that was a great goal there by the side of Gonquin. One shot saved, two shots saved, third shot, nobody is there, nobody has the boost, nobody has the flip resets, nobody has anything, and it's a great goal from side of Gonquin. Gonna look to push the pressure right here, Ooh. right off the post. Does not score Trey with a very nice try there. Very fortunate for the Saints, but Spoo's now on the counter attack, can't find anything, no duck is there to clear it out. Nitrix, but they Nitrix! get a nice shot on target, but it's a Great save Freshness. coming out from Freshness. Woo. Well played from both sides. This is a high level Rocket League right now. Vesh now gonna look for a shot on target, but it's getting cleared out from Salva Gonquin and they escape with a very, very close on both teams there. Gonna look to get the mechanics going a little better, get those shots just a little bit more on target as Freshness. Gonna look for a nice little pass here to Trey. Back to right over the crossbar no and pass it to himself. Way. Very well played by Trey Algonquin. Take a 2-1 lead in his game two. And Saints need to, they need to bring something back because these last few minutes, they haven't looked at their best. Uh, I completely agree. I feel the way that the Algonquin College team has adjusted to the Saints is genius. It's just they 
were playing a, probably a little bit too passively um, in the previous game, letting the Saints get away with too many things, but now they're just playing so aggressive, kind of copying the Saints uh, in a way. The Saints are just so aggressive all the time, always looking for those pressure points to keep pressing, uh, and now it seems like Duncan Call is just playing quite similarly, and when you have two teams being aggressive, oh. it's only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. Right now, it seems to be the Saints looking 2-1 against Algonquin College. This is a mirror of the scoreline of the previous game, but at a fraction of the time. <laughs> so Nitrix, Vesh, and Spoods are going to have their work cut out for them to make this round in their favor. Yeah, good shot on target by Vesh there, but all three members of Algonquin playing on the defense now that they have the lead. Maybe going to play a bit more passive like last game and just try and hold on to this lead. But if Saints can get just one good attack like they did last game mm -hmm. and get this goal back, would be very huge for them. Shot on target by Nitrix, but Duck is there to save it out. We could see all three blue cards on the defense, but Trigon look for a counterattack. Spooz is there to clear it out just in time, but Duck going to have a nice little opportunity here. Doesn't get the best touch as Nitrix takes around two defenders. It's going to be a great counterattack for the side of the Saints, but Trey single handedly stops style whole attack by himself now it's gonna be a shot on target no just off target by Vesh tries to get the bounce off the wall doesn't get it Nitro is gonna look for another attack in the middle here but Trey is there yet again on the defense can he find the third yes he does Vesh gonna look to touch oh it boy. in but Duck gets the clear they're cooking something up here I can tell again it's going towards the Saints but this is the moments that they shine in okay maybe oh. I spoke a little bit too soon the rebound almost finding the way into the net of the Saints Vesh trying to clear it spoos the last line of defense here and that's the only line they need Need going straight forward towards the side of Algonquin College, but Vesh intercepting that. Spoo is going for the shot, and Trey is there to prevent it from going in. Easy. But just like that, Nitrix comes from center field and sends it barreling right down into the goal. Very well played from the Saints, tying it up 2 2 with 1 12 left on the clock. And that's what you don't want to do. You never want to have the ball bouncing from above your net off like that backboard because it sets up very, very easy finishes Absolutely. for whoever's behind your attacker. And we can see there the defender of Algonquin try to hit it up, but just hit it straight off the backboard, which allow an easy goal for the side of the Saints. And they will take that with a minute left here in game two. Now we got a nice little attack coming up from the Saints off the kickoff. Can they get anything going? Spoods with a nice little center. Has no boost though, so he's going to have to let it go to the side of Algonquin. Nature's going to win a 50-50 in the oh. air. He takes her at one defender, but Duck is there on the clearance. Going to take it towards the corner, and Saints need to hold on on the defense here. So it takes her on one defender, but Spoods is there with the save. Well played by Spoods there. It's going to be another center, but Vesh should be there to clear it out. Yes, takes a nice little touch. Oh, it's getting very dangerous for the side of the Saints. Playing in front of their goal, but they're able to clear it out. Now 35 seconds here. Can Algonquin find this game-winning goal they're on the attack here they've put on the aggression in these last 30 seconds but they need to not play too aggressive the saints at any time could strike with a dangerous counter attack but can't find to anything anything to go their way spoods gonna get his nice little clearance and nitrix gonna be there to clear it out as well but duck gets the 50 50 win and it's gonna drop right on top of vesh he get, takes it around one defender is trey there takes it around two defenders and now this is a dangerous attack for the saints there with 10 is. seconds left can they find a nice pass towards the middle it's this right there Oh, Duck is there with the save, and Saints need to watch out on their own. Three seconds left. The game's not over till it's over. The ball's up in the air. As soon as it hits the ground, it's going to be overtime. Can anyone keep it in the air? It's a shot on target from Sal Algonquin, but a great save by Spoods, and we are going to overtime in this second game. It's already game two, and we're already seeing a 2-2 overtime. This is just how high-level Rocket League we're seeing here today. Nobody wants to give an inch because as soon as you do, somebody's going to take a mile. And with the speed that these cars go, a lot of miles can be covered in a very short amount of time. So, like I said, don't want to give an inch to any of these teams. And like you said, this is a dangerous game, but right now it doesn't seem like anybody cares oh, about dangerous. the danger. But just, oh, I didn't even <laughs> see Nitrix there, almost appearing out of nowhere. He clears that goal and keeps them in the game. Both teams have nothing to lose right now. It's all about just getting the ball in the net. Nothing else matters. Doesn't matter how you do it. Doesn't matter if you have to demo, bump, cheat, fly <laughs> through the air, do whatever it takes, get the ball in the net. And that's exactly what they're going to be doing. The aggression, it's like watching sharks flying through the water, trying to get that Sweet, sweet prey, and this ball is one of the most lucrative preys you could see in the wild. <laughs> in, in the wild. Go. In the wild, in the jungles of Rocket League, there's only predators and prey. You don't want to be a prey in this field. Yeah, absolutely. Well, all these players are predators, I can confirm. They're all very, very high level players, very, very good players. And uh, we can see it here being 2 2 in this game, too. The minute 30 gone through this overtime. Maybe one shot on target so far, but 
That's a nice little save from Trader. Can Spoots get the touch? Yes, he does. That would have been a very dangerous ball to let go. And now Spoots takes around his defender. Vesh gets a demo on Trey as well. And now Nitro is going to be in the air. Going to find a pass to Spoots, but it's going to be great defense from the side of Trey. That would have been a very, very tough goal to score for the Saints. Vesh gets a nice little attack. Spoots going to pass it over to himself. Going to try and take it out as defender. He does. The ball's right in the Vesh. middle there, but Duck is there for the save. Now Saints need to watch out on the counter attack as Ooh. two demos come out. Can they find something this really, really quick? This is their quickly? chance. Vesh gets a crucial touch there in front of the net to save the Saints. Two demos coming out at once is very dangerous. You know, having no, no members on the f on the field isn't too good. But Saints able to bring it back and now gonna look for a goal of their own. But it's a nice little sh long shot from Freshness. Spoo's there to clear it out. Now he's gonna look to take it all himself. But it's great defense by Trey. And it, two minutes gone. This game is very very even. Nobody can find an upper hand. Absolutely. We've seen a couple shots, but nothing really really dangerous just yet. Spoo's gonna pass it off the wall here. Duck gonna find the clear. And I think both defenses have just turned it up in this overtime. However, Vesh going to take a 50-50, looking for the finish. Is anyone there? Spoon is there! Put it in! Put it in! Put it in! Trick comes from behind! They're not going to fight him! But Vesh, he is not giving up! Bouncing off of his wheels, but Trey is cementing it. We're 2-2-2, two, 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 minute 2, game 2. <laughs> it's so many 2s flying through, but it's 3 men on the field, and all 3 of them made that possible to be successful for their respective sides. Spoon was so close to getting on it, and they just following up, but again, it's every member on this team making anything possible. Vesh is trying to carry this forward alongside Spoods. Nitrix is always there for the support, trying to get any rebounds into the net. But we have Duck just patiently waiting at the back while Freshness is barreling down, doing the exact opposite, trying to set something oh, that's up. Dangerous. And there it is. But they saw that coming from a mile away, getting the clear before it can go too far in, but bouncing it down. Just like you said, you don't want to be in this position, but the Saints don't care. But they're going, oh my Save. God, Vesh off the top of his net, clears that with an angelic save as the icon suggests. Spoots just a very vanilla shot right off the floor. Oh! Vesh coming from the side, knocking that up, lobbing it to the top right of the net. There wasn't a damn thing anybody could have done about that one. Look at that, Theo. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful finish there in a very, very intense overtime. Three minutes, Ooh. 39 seconds, but Saints do take the game too. And that was another just very, very close game. Both teams showing what they're made of. And uh, just a crazy game. That was actually a crazy game. That was game, game one and a half, one basically. Game, two, game and a two and a half, half sorry. <laughs> Maybe two and three quarters after that <laughs> performance. We saw five oh, goals, man. a crazy overtime, a lot of crazy, crazy chances. And both teams just managed to find those saves. But Vesh in the end, so <laughs> Vesh in the end, with that 1v1, managing to get the finish in the top right corner. The defender of Algonquin just couldn't get to it. And the Saints are going to be very, very happy with themselves after that performance. Nobody could have stopped that. That was just so perfect. They were just in the exact position they needed to be to get that lined up and shot it at a completely indefensible angle. The stars aligned, and if they don't align on their own, you make them line up just like the Saints did. Absolutely, and we're going into game three. It was a dangerous shot on target from Saiba. Gonquin started off early, but Saints managing to hold on, not allowing that kickoff goal, which we've unfortunately seen so many times. Able to clean up this week, hopefully. And a good start for them in every match. They've, I think they've had the lead oh, every game, that's but a that's just a goal right from half field for freshness. A bit of just randomness going on and just a shot from half field goes in. Usually you don't see those mistakes made by the Saints, but there was a demo coming out on Vesh and Nitrix wasn't in the goal. Just good play from Algonquin. I think it was just a situation there where, where Spoods was expected to kind of hold that there, but he kind of got beat out. He wasn't even demoed, but the way he was bumped, his Vesh car was basically, demoed. oh Vesh, uh, yeah, he was just completely immobile. Vesh just respawning on the side. There wasn't really much anybody could have done there. And I just was waiting where he should have been, uh, but it's just kind of unfortunate for the Saints there. But like I said before, the stars don't align for you, you make them align. And that looks to be what the Saints are trying to do right now. Spoods comes up on the side, Vesh, is just chasing the ball backwards, cornering it out, slicing the momentum in half and sending it upwards. Nitrix taking it towards the wall as he tries to go oh, for the clean is. shot on the net. Doesn't even need to do any fancy tricks, nothing shenanigans. Just, hey, I'm gonna get a goal, guys. Watch this. The demo, demo by Vesh there as well in both, both these first few goals. The demo has been a crucial part, taking mm -hmm. out a defender there. And there you could see it, Vesh with a, with a nice little demo, allowing Nitrix to take the one-on-one. -on -one. And Nitrix, yet again, in those 1v1s, very, very deadly, able to take around the player, Trey. 
gets a demo on Nitrous here to start, and it's gonna be another quick start for the Saints. They're in the, in the half of Gong, just demos coming out in this third game on cooldown, it feels like. Nobody's allowing anyone to play the game, but it's 1-1. One, one. Very, very tight. You know, Saints are able to bring it back and only needed one more one more game to uh, to take the series. They're gonna look to put the pressure on. Algonquin are gonna play like they have nothing to lose now. Uh, Saints just need to get their mental in check and just play how they have been. Spoo's able to find the clearance. Nitro's gonna put a nice little pass back to him. Spoo's gonna go for the one-on-one. -on -one. Can he find the goal over Duck? No, he's gonna just pass it towards the corner. It's great defense from Sabo Conquin getting a nice little uh, counter-attack going themselves. Can Trey find any cross here? Ball drops oh. right to him, but Vesh is there on the defense. Duck is going to look for a pass towards the middle himself. It's a bit of a dangerous attack coming out here. Can they find a nice shot on target? No, it was a good try by them. Duck now going to go for a little shot of his own, but it's a great save by Spoos and Saints on this defense. When they're <clears throat> set up, they are so dangerous on the defense. They don't allow anything to go in. It was a shot off the crossbar there, but Saints just calm under pressure. It's two oh, attackers, oh, though, coming in safe. from the side of Algonquin. They were playing just a bit too passive. They yeah. need to find something. And when you play too passive and the ball's in front of your net, chances will arrive. We could see both Algonquin players just flying in <laughs> through the air. And du uh, Duck manages to find the finish. So well played from the side of Algonquin. Now Saints need to bring him back yet again. Yep, yeah, with about 250 left, it's not impossible. But again, like we're, that, that goal was just an example of oh, playing. Oh my goodness, duck barreling towards the net, trying to find anything he can get, salvaging from the same sloppiness it seems. But Vesh is not gonna let that happen. Nitrix oh my. maybe again getting a little bit too complacent. I think trying to go for something a little bit too. Uh, like uh, what I was saying before, I feel like they're playing a little bit too smart for their own good. Mm -hmm. Like the, the way that they were playing defense when uh, Algonquin was just barreling at them, they were playing a little bit too reserved, too conservative. They didn't want to commit too much because you don't want to commit too much. It's risky. It's scary. You don't want to do it. But sometimes you got to throw caution to the wind and play riskily. You just got to do it. But yeah. um, both times it didn't really pay off for them to play conservatively and they kind of taste uh, the bit of defeat there but it's not over yet with two minutes left in this game Saints just need to get two goals to tie it up and three to win it all together Vesh is looking to make that happen with Nitrix on the side here they're playing a careful game trying to get the 50 it goes side of Algonquin College taking it even closer but just a, a nice bump there no demo is going to occur but as they're all struggling for the ball in the air, it lines up just in front of the Saints net, but it gets cleared out. Trey is going to catch on their side and recenter it towards the side of the Saints, but Vesh intercepts it yet again. Duck flying over to the side. Vesh, oh my. my! How did that happen? Just off the wall, gets a nice little touch, and nobody from the side of the Saints able to defend it. Just Nitrix tries yeah. to get the clearance on the line, but... 4-1, this game is basically over, I want to say. So. It, like, especially watching it, it just feels like Saints just can't do anything. I don't know what Algonquin did between games uh, 2 and 3, but they, they put together some amazing plan, able to bring it back a little bit here. But the ball's right in front of their net. Can the Saints find a goal back? No, they can't. It's a great save coming out from Trey. And Saints needed to see that one go in if they wanted to keep their hopes up. But they Playing still it. can keep their hopes up. The ball's oh, right in front of the net. Oh, that was so close. There it is. Vesh finds a very, very <laughs> slow, methodical. Just takes it slowly. Says, guys, I'm just going to tap this one in. No one mind me. Nice little finish coming out from him there. And 4-2, hey, maybe we spoke a bit too soon. Maybe Saints can bring this one back as Algonquin making a rare mistake here in Game 3. It is rough um, in order for them to do it. It's, again, very possible, but the way that Algonquin College has been playing their defense makes it a little bit unlikely to me. At the very least, the Saints are going to be able to take it back after this game if they do end up losing it. But it's not impossible. A goal like that shows that there is hope. But the way that was played, they were all looking at Spoods, and then Vesh just kind of taps it in as he was the one kind of prepping it for the goal for Spoods. But they weren't expecting Vesh himself to go for it. Spoods, again, just trying to carry the momentum forward. Nitrix is going to be the one to do it instead as he bounces it up. But it's going to get intercepted. Trey trying to take it into the net, but Spoods bouncing it off of the top there. Nitrix 
Oh, nice clean save from the shot and another one as he exits his net. Trey trying to get something done here, but it's not going to be too easy because the Saints, the way they play the field is so menacing. With just a couple seconds left, the Saints get another goal, threatening it 3-4. You've seen a lot of goals this time, but 18 seconds left. Can the Saints get one more to tie the series? Yeah, Algonquin playing a bit too aggressive. They're going kind of all in to get that fifth goal when they don't need to, and now they put themselves in a dangerous situation. The Saints have 18 seconds to score a goal. Obviously, not, not too much time, but the kickoff does go their way, and they're going to have one final chance. This oh. the shot on target, but it's a great save coming out from Algonquin. It's a nice shot on target by Nitric. Oh, right off the post, can oh find the finish? Yes, he does, and just like that, the Saints make it 4-4. They, they still have eight seconds if they can find another one to close this series out, but Algonquin are going to be very upset for letting yeah. go of a 4-1 lead. We cast it, cast our curse in a little bit, but we're Saints <laughs> fans, so you know, it's not, too bad. it's not too bad for us. We got eight seconds might have left. Might be my strategy. I don't it's know. Been, but it's a good strategy. It might throw everyone <laughs> off, but it's a dangerous uh -oh. attack here by might Freshness. One second left. Maybe Spoots can find a counter attack here for the Saints. Ball up in the air. No, Ducks didn't clear it out. It should be able to drop now. There and yes, go. it does yet again. We have a overtime. Who do you think is going to take this one? Uh, personally, I got a date. Algonquin College. Because <laughs> 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 the Avenue should play so incredibly. Wow. And, well, once you look at that, oh. Algonquin College takes it off of the, wow. the kickoff. Incredible playing. I, you know, I got to say, my Rocket League knowledge is, is better than I think it's amazing. sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I predicted that one, but it really just came to me. Um, a astonishing victory coming up from Algonga College. A zero second overtime. Uh, that's not the way I saw this series kind of rolling around from the 4-1 up to tying it to a zero second yeah. overtime finish off the kickoff. Uh, sometimes it happens. Yeah, the Saints won't be happy making <laughs> all of that work just to come back to make it into overtime. One second into overtime, there's no more overtime. Algonquin take <laughs> game three, and they're going to look for the reverse sweep here. But Saints playing well towards the end, and now they get a nice start off the kickoff. Nitrix says, and you guys score kickoff goals. We are somehow going to miss that one up as there were three <laughs> members of the Saints that just whiffed on the ball. Algonquin getting away with very, very dangerous game there. Saints... Don't look too good to start here. That should have been a goal basically every every time. But Vesh says, don't worry, guys. I got us, but it's a great save coming out from Trey. I mean, Algonquin are just playing such a risky game right now, allowing these opportunities. But Saints just cannot find the no finish. Way. And just like that, Duck will say, all right, I'll, I'll have a shot on target and we'll score this one. And it's a... A bit of a risky play coming out from Algonquin, but it works out for them in the end. 30 seconds in, they take a 1-0 lead over the Saints looking for the reverse sweep. Just a beautiful display of how Rocket League should be played. Uh, the way they played that field was immaculate. It was like watching a composer write a symphony oh. on a napkin. But just like that is the sequel to the said symphony. It was a little bit messier. You know, sometimes the sequel's not as good as the original. But as long as it makes the charts, that's all that matters. And just like that, uh, somewhat out of nowhere goal. It works, though. That's all you need. I mean, it's all you need, and less than 40 seconds in, Algonquin yet again taking a big lead to start the game. This time, they're going to look to hold on. I think that overtime goal off the kickoff really messed up the mental of St. Clair. Working so hard to get themselves back into that game three and having it all end with something like that is just, it's not good for the mental. But hopefully, you know, we know how resilient our group of boys are. Hopefully, oh, they, yeah. can, they can get back into this game. You know, it is only two goals. They do have... A lot of time, it's far from being over, just a bit of a rough start. But this game four is looking pretty rough for them. They did have a couple of really, really good chances, which they didn't score. And Algonquin kind of just scored out of nothing, no real team play, just kind of solo goals as Vesh gets a save onto Duck there. Let's see if the Saints can get one back early here. Nitrous gets a nice little demo, and Vesh, Vesh. gonna find the finish just as I say. An elegant they, shot. They make a great play happen. Look at this, Nitrix. And he f finds the oh, demo yeah. right there on the defender. Wow. Easy Beautiful. finish. Easy finish. <laughs> 105 kilometers per hour. That, that, that was That's like a fast. swat. That's it looked like he was swatting a fly out of the air with the way he moved his car. And he just swatted that ball into the net. A beautiful play coming up from the Saints. And now here, Spoods looking to recreate that magic off the wall, sending it towards the center, but nobody's there but Trey to catch it. Now it's going to be bouncing back and forth parallel to the intersection spot there. Spoods rolling it off. Nitrix gets the demo. I don't even think he was expecting that one. Spoods 
trying to get it towards the center, keeping the pressure out. Vesh chasing them back. Duck, he intercepts it as it hits the ground. Vesh trying to carry it forward, but he misses the scoop up. Nitrix there to pick up after the mistake, oh, but dangerous. no, nobody's in net. And just like that, you committed too many people to chase a ball that nobody touched. That's just going to leave your net wide open for Algonquin College, and they're going to make the most of it as they just go for a very simple, clean shot. I think we're seeing a little bit of tilting coming out from the Saints as I don't really ever see them just leaving the goal wide open like Never. that. Usually Spoods is just usually their backline player. He's able to be there at all times. But I think the Saints just want to get these goals back so uh, back so bad. They didn't even think about the defense part of the game. And that came back to bite them. It's going to be a big demo coming out in the middle. Ball right in front of the Saints going just like that. Yet again, Algonquin take a 4-1 lead. Out of nowhere, they're just playing like the best team on the planet, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Taking 4-1 lead yet again. But... We saw what happened last game. We saw our Saints come back. Hopefully they can do it again. They have three minutes to score three goals. Plenty of time for them. Let's see if mm -hmm. they can get a good start off the kickoff here. No, they do not. The Algonquin College able to win out the kickoff yet again. It's another dangerous opportunity for them to start off the, uh, the kickoff, but can't find anything. Vesh now gonna look for a nice little attack, but Freshness is there in the air. It's a dangerous chance for oh, Freshness. 50 in mid-air, right Freshness. No. Trazer follow up and it's 5-1. It's, it might be getting out of hand, this one. I, I say this is firmly out of hand. This We is... did say it last game, though. Yeah, but that was different. It was I, don't different. ask me how it was different. It, was. it just was. It was. This, it was. Is, this is different in a way that I think is uh, irrecoverable. Uh, I feel like the St. Saints, uh, Clair Green squad, they are, they are like rubber, you know? They are very resilient, very durable. But the only way you can really break it is by stretching it too thin. I feel like they've been stretched quite a bit in this series. Uh, and right now, they might have snapped. If the, if not yet, they're getting there. I feel the tilt is getting there. But Don't you going back? You know, if when you stretch an elastic band, that's a lot of potential energy there that could be released if you let go. You oh, know. Oh, don't let go. Don't let go. You got to keep it, the energy stored up, and then you got to wait for the perfect moment to, to let it loose. You know, uh, five two. The Saints two 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 is the score line or the time left in this game. But it's anybody's game, if you're asking me. Quite the opposite of what I was saying just a couple of <laughs> seconds ago. But after that goal, I feel there's been a renewed fire in the hearts of the Saints. Yeah, I think Algonquin, like, they just feel like they already won this game and kind of let it the foot off the gas a little bit, mm -hmm. leaving their net just wide open. And I think that's pretty bad. They got to play it pedal to the metal 100% all the way up till the end of the game because we saw last game having that 4-1 lead they relaxed a little bit Saints put on the pressure and able to score three goals they need th they need three more again in two minutes as it did find one back so a bit of a mental swift for them but now the game has calmed down a little bit now everyone's set up we see the side of Algonquin actually having a defender on the defense Trey takes out Nitrix but Freshness is going to be there for the clearance it's a dangerous shot towards the target, but Trey is there to control it. A nice little touch there. It's going to look to take it over all over three defenders, but it's not on target. So Saints are able to clear it out. Freshness going to look for a nice little center. Is going to be anyone. Yes, it's a oh. nice touch from Duck, and they get a sixth goal. Algonquin just playing way better than the Saints at this moment and just able to find goals randomly. Saints missing the defense there by Nitrix. Nice little try there, but it was really, really hard. And Algonquin just finding the plays, able to make a 6-2 with only a minute 30 left, surely. Now, surely this game is over, right? If you're asking me, yeah, I think so. Um, the, I'm going to have to disagree with you there, Theo, though. The point you made where the Algonquin College, their, the, a mistake they're making is by playing too aggressively and letting their net be open. But I feel like when you have a scoreline advantage this wide, it makes sense to just throw caution to the wind and just go 100% aggression. You got nothing to lose. True. So what if they score three goals? They still need to score one more to even tie it, let alone win. And I think that's what the Algonquin College side is looking to do here, just to keep the momentum going, just re be relentless in their offense against the Saints because they have nothing to lose in doing it. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, actually, because the two ga uh, the game that Algonquin won, they did have five goals in that game, including the overtime, four during the during the match and one during the overtime. So it was, I think the aggressive play coming out from them is the way they want to play this. It's going to be a chance for them, but not be able to find much. And with these aggressive plays, having six goals and five goals in two games in a row, Saints just kind of look like they've, they have no idea what to do. They, they're just getting pressed all, uh, all the time, and these shots are going in, which is... Like, from casting Rocket League the past few weekends, the Saints are a team that they don't allow too many goals. They have the solid no defense. They play well. I don't even think I've ever seen six goals scored on them so far. So, yeah. Algonquin just putting on the performance. <sighs> very well very well played by them. There's not much to say. With one second left, the game clock's going to run out, and we are going to a deciding 
game five. Algonquin looking for the reverse sweep, but our Saints hopefully can hold it down, hopefully can uh, keep their calm, keep composure. You know, when you are getting reverse swept in those situations, I've had these situations too, where you're up 2-0, the other team takes two games, and you're like, like uh-oh, uh -oh. <laughs> guys, mental reset, nothing happened, it's a best of one now, let's play the absolute best we can in mm -hmm. this game, and let's take it down. So hopefully our Saints have that same mentality, hopefully they're not beat up, don't beat themselves up too bad after a bit of a rough game four, but as we say that, going into game five, kickoff, gonna be uh -oh. dangerous for the Saints. We've seen this before. We've seen this before, but this time it's off target. Target and Nitrix able to get the stop. It's a good thing for the Saints. They don't allow a goal too early, as because those are crucial, crucial, especially in these game fives where every single touch matters. Freshner's gonna look for a nice little pass to Duck, but he can't find it. Gonna look for a pass into the middle again, off the wall. They, uh, Trey is there for a nice little pass to Duck. Can they find anything? It's pretty good offense from the side of Algonquin, but Saints just play the patient defense, able to clear it out. It's gonna be still a dangerous ball towards the middle of the middle of the field but now it's on the side of Algonquin maybe Saints can find a counter-attack Vesh in the air he is so deadly in this air can he find the 1v2 finds it over both the defenders that duck is there for the defense oh, but Spoots Lord. just misses the target and in game fives you gotta hit the angles properly it's it's an unfortunate shot from Spoots a very well positioned but just mistimed it and couldn't find the finish Algonquin get away with yet another dangerous defensive play as as you said they are playing very aggressive all their players Absolutely. just going up it feels like and the defense is like kind of like a ah we'll defend if we have to we just need to get these goals in but <laughs> that with that being said Spoods goes on the 1v1 you know Algonquin allowing those 1v1s a lot of teams will have a second defender there just in case your defender gets beat but Algonquin playing very very risky aggressive and it's working out for them so far in this series I feel like there's two types of offense there's the uncontrolled, untamed whirlwind of a tornado, which acts as a defense and an offensive force. It's just so uncontrollable, yet so effective at causing destruction. And then there's, you know, like uh, 10 kids with like wooden swords charging <laughs> at you. You know, it's very easy to, you know, dissuade that yeah. in an infinite amount of ways. Um, but I feel like the Algonquin College uh, offense is the former chance. there. It's very impenetrable, very hard to handle. And I feel like the Saints are going to have to find some oh, way no. to stop a tornado. And uh, sometimes you can't. Sometimes it picks up all your belongings, rearranges it just like they bumped, and sent most of the Saints flying in <laughs> random directions. And Spoods wasn't able to read the goal there, the shot, and defend it. Um, the Saints are going to have to find a way to stop a tornado, and I'm no storm chaser, but I feel like that's quite a hard thing to do. <laughs> it is, it is, and that was just, you watching it, like, in the replay, it was just such a simple goal, it was just a pass on the ground yeah. with a nice little tap, and it wasn't anything fancy, it wasn't like, pass here, pass there, pass here, pass there, it's just a Rebound, laser action! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, a slow shot as well, it wasn't like a <laughs> bullet, but the Saints could not defend, and now Algonquin uh, with 2 minutes 48, I'm going to look to hold on, but from what we've seen, I think they're going to try and put the pressure on. I think they're going to try and put a couple more back in the back of the net for the Saints here. But Saints need to find a counter-attack goal here. They're looking for oh, it here. Trey is okay. there on the defense. That gets, been bad. Yeah, I guess the clearance. Playing, playing a bit risky as Algonquin have been this whole series. But I think since they've spiked that aggression in games three and four, it has been the best rock league we've seen from them so far. It's great defense coming out from Freshnet there. Vesh tries to find the finish, but can't find it. Now it's going to be a counterattack from Sal Algonquin. It's a dangerous opportunity. Can Doug find the pass off the backboard? No, he cannot. Spoods there on the defense. And there, now we get 50. to see Spoods on the defense. It's a great touch by Spoods, but Trey is there on the defense. Gets the one-on-one -on -one defense. Now it's going to be Freshnet on the attack. Gets a nice little touch there. Can Vesh find the clearance? Yes, he does. Spoods gets in. Then one trade. It's a dangerous shot. And for the Saints. there Vesh it is. is. There, and there you go. Nice little demo coming out as well from the side of the Saints as these demos are crucial in the midfield. And just like that, from their side all the way to the other side, get a very, very easy goal, Vesh, with a beautiful finish. And they make it a 1-1 game with two minutes left in this game five. The speed of that goal, I feel, is symbolic. It was uh, 111 kilometers per hour, taking the score to be 1-1. I feel like that means something. Does that mean we're going to go in a 1-1 overtime? <laughs> Potentially. I don't think so. I, don't think so. I, oh. I disagree, Theo. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, if you asked me maybe two seconds ago, I probably would have agreed, but I have the <laughs> benefit of hindsight. So I'm going to use it to my advantage, just like Algonquin College is going to use their cars advantage, preventing Spoods from rebounding and centering that goal right into the net. That's Oh, but Fesh Trey is not going to care. Nitrix chasing the ball towards the center. He has to clear this somehow in a way that's not going to get line them up for a perfect goal. They find a way through teamwork. Oh, but no! Fesh is in the net. 
able to prevent the shot from Algonquin College. Coming from the top side now, this should be a little bit harder, but Spoon's being proactive on the defense, chasing him up there to swat it out of the air before it becomes a problem for the Saints. And just like that, Spoon's chasing down the center, not gonna go anywhere too far thanks to Trey, but Nitrix is gonna try, but Vesh is gonna try even harder to get that one going where they want it to. An open net somewhat, but the Saints close up real fast. Vesh trying to get the ball where they need it to be. Duck in freshness, chasing it hard. Nitrix beats 150, loses the other, and now it's in the air. Vesh is gonna get beat up in the air again. Oh. And now it's just laning oh. right in center oh, of the Saints my. goal, but freshness off camera, out of nowhere, like he was flying through a portal, sends that barreling straight into the net. Even, like, look Jeez. at that. Nitrix was so close to stopping it, though. If he was just a little bit closer to the right side, he would have been able to prevent it, but only so much you can do. Yeah, that was a great read by Freshness as Duck gets a shot on target right off kickoff, but Vesh is our first save. We got 40 seconds left and Saints absolutely need a goal. I think now we're going to see Algonquin a bit on the defensive side as they just need to defend for 30 seconds and they get absolutely. the reverse sweep. Trey gets a huge demo on Spooz as it's going to slow down a lot of attack from Saints, but the ball's still in the danger area. But Vesh the demo! The demo. <coughs> can the Saints find a finish here? Spooz flying through the air. Is that shot on target? No, it's not. But can they find a nice little Centering shot it. here? Vesh is in the to net himself. and he yes, makes it, it possible! <laughs> Holding up two defenders, not letting them to go anywhere Spoods bounces it off the side, rolls down the other side of the wall, and then just jumps it up. Vesh sitting there. I don't know if he had tape on his wheels or something that made it impossible for the defense on the side of Algonquin College to play. But even the mental barrier, just knowing that Vesh is there, making it very hard. They don't know what their plan is. They don't know what they're going to do. Vesh could very easily have gotten that goal himself. Oh, no. There's no now, defender. Oh, no, there is. Vesh, is Vesh there. the one and only, is the only one they'll ever need. Playing so perfectly almost. They get it going towards the net, but nobody's going to be able to capitalize. Theo, I think we're going to an overtime for the third time in this series against Algonquin College. You very well could be, but the ball is not down yet. It's a chance maybe for the Saints. Nice little pass there to Vesh, but the ball will touch down. And as you said, we are going to overtime. Not 1-1, but 2-2 in that last minute. We found a couple of goals. <laughs> Game 5 overtime doesn't get much better than this. Let's see if anyone can get a quick goal to start. Saints are going to have control of the ball in Algonquin's territory. Get a nice little demo on Duck. So he's 100 boost there. Sure. Looking to use it potentially. Coming from midfield. Trying to realign this up. Vesh is in the position that you never want to see Vesh in. He's carrying it forward, but nobody was able to support him there. Nitrix getting swatted aside. Vesh is trying to keep this going forward. Spoods laying patiently in the center. He comes up, tired of waiting. Freshness sends it flying towards the Saints net, oh but my. Nitrix is making easy work, making the defense look like child's play. And Spoods carrying it down the center. It's going to get swatted back by Duck, but carried forward by Vesh. Freshness is just taking it forward, back and forth. These things are playing. It's like table tennis and oh. Vesh, but Nitrix is going to be there to prevent that from going in. The Saints have learned their lesson not to leave their goal open against this squad, Theo, and yeah. they are looking to make this their game. Absolutely. One minute in. Pretty, pretty close overtime. It is game five. All players' heartbeats are up about 50 from what it normally is supposed <laughs> to be. But that's what game fives are for. When the pressure, when the adrenaline is running through you, that's when the best players show what they're made of. Spoods going to have a big opportunity here. So much time to oh. work with. But all oh, Vesh, something, Nitrix, Nitrix you got it, it. no! What a save coming out from Duck. Nitrix had the shot, and we've seen it time and time again. Just like that, it would play out and he would finish. But Algonquin have learned their lesson. And now they're going to have a chance of their own. A bit of a dangerous attack, but Trey gets a demo on Vesh. It's great defense by Vesh, though. Gets the clearance right before he gets demoed. Freshman is going to look for a pass over to Duck. Can Duck find the finish? It's a dangerous opportunity, no, but Vesh is there on the defense yet again. Trey going to look for a shot of his own, but won't find it. And now it's going to be Freshness finding the clearance here. Vesh. Gonna look for something here. Nitrix with a nice little pass to Spoos. Right on the target, but Duck is there with a the save again. This is such an Don't intense overtime. Trey gonna find no! the shot. Is it gonna be a full way? Spoos is there. On the defense. This is absolutely madness, madness right now. But Vesh <laughs> finds a touch over to Algonquin. Hey, both teams are still calm. They're not over aggressing. They have the defenders when they need them, as they both know the consequences of allowing a goal here would send you to a lower bracket, make your day so much harder. Well, they can't find too much their freshness, but it's still in the dangerous territory for St. Clair. Can they get the clearance? Duck gonna find a little center. Is there anyone there for the pass? And it's off the backboard. This is where the 
yes! most dangerous part is, but it's a great clearance by Nitrix. I feel like this is it. I don't know what's coming over. I just feel like this is going to be the moment. The deciding factor for this game, Spoods, is going to try to get this out of their corner, sending it down towards the middle. There's Fresh no goalie. Chasing. There's no goalie no! at all. And Spoods, just like that, taking it from center field all the way into the net. No ticket required. It gets the free ride all the way full scholarship into the College of Algonquin College's net. What a game. What a series coming up from both teams, Theo. And just like that, Saints advance to the next round of the tournament while Algonquin College, the formidable foes that they had to overcome, are going down to the lower bracket. Yeah, absolute crazy series. That last goal, just Ooh. miscommunication from side of Algonquin. You could yeah. see both players going for the boost and then realizing there's nobody in the net and Saints with a very, very hard four victory, very, very difficult for them. Was not easy to say the least. And that is a physically exhausting game and mentally exhausting I'm exhausted. game. Yeah, yeah I'm exhausted. Me. After just <laughs> just five games of Rocket League, if they the team that lose Algonquin going to have to go to the lower bracket, trying to win this tournament will be so draining for them after especially after a start like that, making the reverse sweep to bring it back to two two, taking mm -hmm. it all the way to overtime, but just couldn't find that one goal. Well played by our Saints, however, as they will move on to the next round. Yeah, uh, that series, I feel like it, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You win by mistakes, you lose by mistakes. I feel like Algonquin College capitalized off of the Saints leaving their nets open way too many times throughout that series, and then they end up losing in that same way, just in the last moment, a random shot from Spoods. Probably wasn't even meant to be a shot, it was probably just like a lineup getting ready, and lo and behold, there was nobody even yeah. there to prevent it. They were just barreling down, trying to meet it in the net, but... They weren't fast enough. Rocket League, you can only move so fast. Even with 100 boost, it's not going to work out in their favor. Uh, but going forward, um, I believe our potential opponents, I don't remember from the bracket. Maybe, Maybe we, we can pull the bracket, the bracket up. Yeah. Sometime soon we can see who we might be going up against next if that series is finished. It very well Probably. might not be. Most Probably likely, is. Though. We just had five games with <laughs> a lot of overtime. Three overtimes. Yeah. One of them was zero seconds, though. True. Um, so whoever our next opponents might be are going to be, uh, <laughs> if they saw that game, maybe Maybe they're going to be fearful for what they have to uh, overcome against the Saints. But with that being said, I think we can throw it to a little bit of a discussion <laughs> <laughs> about uh, what we can be expecting to see sometime soon. Um, well, we can pull up the bracket. Yeah, we can start bracket. talking about what we can see later on in the day and who our next opponents might be. And that's going to be King, King University. 3-0. Ah, looking strong. Yeah, King are very, very strong. And 3-0 over UDM Esports. They had a lot of time to relax, and they probably watched the same series. They were probably Maybe. hello. They were probably <laughs> looking, probably like, okay, this series is getting close. That was an hour-long series. That's a while for a Rock League series. But yeah, mm -hmm. Saints take the three-two, and uh, the winner of Saint Clair, Saints Green, and King University will be taking on the winner of U Ottawa and Weber State University. Has a bunch of three-twos all across the board, <laughs> but King University had an easy three-zero, oh, and uh, they they they're gonna be the most physically and mentally. Uh, like fit they're gonna have mm -hmm. they have the most time to relax so these teams that just finished all three twos are gonna be hopping right back into another game with just the best teams in in, in uh, collegiate rocket league so hopefully our saints are locked in they can take down king and then win it in the finals make it to the grand finals so they don't have to go down to the lower bracket one benefit though of being so exhausted is you have that momentum you have the yeah. heat on your side and the saints are going to be very hot going into the next game but before we go into the next game we got to cool down a little bit yeah. so we're going to be throwing it to a quick break and we'll see you very very soon for the next game
ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the second series of the day. We have the St. Clair Saints Green Squad versus King University. And after the incredible series that was game one, or uh, series one, it looks like series two might not be that bad it's, uh, of a of successor. <laughs> yeah, Saints getting off to a hot start. 10 seconds in, getting a goal. And as we said, King University did have a 3-0, so they probably had a lot of time to relax. Saints mm -hmm. still in that like gaming zone that they just got out of after that. Uh, excruciating five game series but starting off very very strong against King University find the first goal very very early good start for the Saints here maybe, maybe might be a second here on the attack and Vesh find the follow up no spoods and uh, you have to take control here tap it towards the middle but nobody from Saints is there King University will retain possession now Storm on the attack trying to make chaos happen here but Vesh on the defense able to clear it out it's a good shot though on top right across the net but Nitrix Got demoed there, that's why it was so dangerous. It's a nice pass over to Turbo, and just like that, King University, a nice attack and get a goal back for themselves. That was a very well executed goal. Sometimes, again, short, sweet, and simple will get you the goals, and even if you're just a second ahead of your opponent, that can lead to a victory there. Just like you saw, Vesh was just seconds, microseconds, milliseconds oh, away from getting that. But Spoo's looking to oh. get revenge, just carrying it off of the kickoff. We're not even a minute into this series technically, and we're already seeing a scoreline of one to two for the Saints. Yeah, King University off the kickoff yet again, just can't find the defense and Saints with two basically free goals, which they will happily take. King University not gonna be happy with what just happened, but we did see that King University can score, so this game is far from over. But Saints taking that two-one lead, gonna be very, very nice for them. Nitrix now on the attack. Gonna look to take it around the defenders, but Storm is there to clear it out. Gonna try and get up the field turbo here. Gonna have at least a little shot opportunity. Gonna find a pass to himself, but Vesh is there on the defense. It's in a dangerous area, oh, as it's no. a great save by Spood. Cynical tried to find the finish there, but couldn't get it. And it's gonna be a clearance coming out from the side of the Saints, but Storm is here on the side. Still has possession of the ball. Vesh takes out turbo, might slow down the offense for just a little bit. And yes, it does. But Turbo is back and he's not happy. He's got demoed. Gonna try to take it in the air, but Spoods is there on the defense. Real, very well played by him. Storm, though, gonna take it over one defender. Vesh is there on the goal line to defend it. And he's gonna be able to get the clearance now. Both players kind of missed the ball a little bit there. But it's dangerous attack coming out from King University. They can't find too much as this defense of Saints has been really, really solid, oh, solid for the no. first few minutes. Nitrix almost just carrying that directly into the net. But he is gonna meet some resistance along the way. The Saints are not making this easy for King University and vice versa. King University does not want to make this a free ride for the Saints, but Spoo is coming off the sidewall, looking to make this a hat trick for himself, but it's not going to be exactly how he wants to go. They're meeting some resistance over in the corner of their net here. Storm doesn't want to give it up, catching the clear and bringing it back, but Turbo is not going to get to where he wants to be. Storm, it seems to be a common theme here, chasing the ball, but Spoods and the rest of the Saints are doing excellent to make sure it doesn't go over to their side. Oh Bash, my. making the shot from Crossbar. above the net, but it's not going to go in. If the, only the net was just a little bit wider, I wonder how many goals we'd see going the way of the Saints already, but that's a, that's a different universe we can be dreaming of. Vesh passes it to himself, barrels down from center field, and gets the goal of his dreams. So beautiful. A great solo goal, beats his defender right off the post, gets the perfect bounce back to himself, and Saints take a commanding 3-1 lead. King University for the past few minutes, after their first goal, just can't really find anything Saints just able to lock them down they're finding those demos I want to add which is crucial as it slows down the offense but Storm is not happy with what I'm saying says Theo that's not good brother I'm, I'm gonna get one back for us right now and takes it himself against three defenders just going through the team looking like Messi of Rocket League for a little bit there gets the finish and uh, King University are back into this game it's like the older brother defending uh, the younger brother from getting bullied he just like hold on guys I got this <laughs> yeah he just carries it through again he's going again. for it he might even find it the way he's manipulating the ball in oh. the air but cynical not gonna get past Vesh no way not today turbo though wants to see if he can try his own luck not gonna have any today nitrix getting ready to meet the meet the clear and gets it out spoods passing it towards but it's not gonna get the bounce turbo is gonna catch it nitrix See if he can beat the 50. Turbo crosses him over. Oh, that's dangerous. Vesh is going towards the net, but Vesh is there to catch the goal. Cynical 
is going to be trying to get this perfectly centered, and Storm makes the shot, but it's off angle. Looking to get a retry here. Come on, let's get a do-over, guys. Uh, th that's probably what they're saying. Turbo is going to get bounced away, though, and the Saints are going to go on the offense themselves. Vesh sending it off to the left. Nitrix getting ready to oh, it in is. the middle, and he catches what was supposed to be a clear and turns it into a goal to make it, like you said, a commanding 4-2 advantage for the Saints. Yeah, Storm with a pretty big mistake there, thinking he has a lot of time on his hands, just trying to take it slowly, but Nitrix puts on the aggression and finds the finish for the Saints. Going to be able to take this 4-2 lead, and with a minute 20 seconds left, I think they can hold on. You know, we, we saw the crazy games last series. We saw all the goals coming out. Saints being ahead with four goals of their own this game. Going to be very happy with their performance after the last series, especially in those oh. game twos and threes. But Nitrix on the attack, not going to be able to find too much of Storm. It's going to be able to clear it out. But Saints are going to look to hold on to this lead. I don't think they're going to put all the players forward. They're going to keep up the aggression, obviously, because they don't want to get their foot off the gas pedal. As we see Turbo going in for a solo goal, but Vesh is there for the defense. Great play by Vesh there. Spoods is there cleared out, and Saints retain possession of the ball, but it's going to be a clearance from Storm. Can Turbo find anything? No, Nitrix is cleared out. Vesh gets a nice little demo, and Saints have a nice little opportunity here. Can they find the finish? Storm going to look for a touch. He does, but Vesh is going to be there near. It's a nice shot on target. Turbo is there to save it out, and Saints cannot find the goal. 30 seconds left. Still a 4-2 lead for the Saints, and with everything happening right now, I think I think they're going to be very happy with themselves at this moment. And they want to make themselves even happier. Looks Saints, again, they just have to prevent two goals from going through in the next 20 seconds. Sounds pretty easy, but at this level of Rocket League, it can be quite difficult. So the, the Saints not yet going to breathe their sigh of relief. They want to wait until this game is over, but maybe just for a little bit of fun, they can see if they can get an extra goal. Now, though, the game seems to be pretty done. It's over. And the Saints are taking game one over King University. Yeah, King University might get a goal here at the end. No, they don't. Uh, Spoots saves it out. And Saints, very, very good start to the series. You know, the only team to go through real King University sh getting shown a real challenge now. The Saints able to take game one. F first two goals just kind mm -hmm. of randomly just blinked and came in off kickoff. <laughs> so a good start for the Saints. King University are going to have to play a bit better Rocket League to keep up with our team because the Saints are very strong, you know, winning the first mm -hmm. CRL Open. Hopefully they can uh, continue to keep their momentum after last series, winning this game and just keep it rolling. You don't want to play another 3-2 series here because, you know, they're going to be tired. We are all human. We, <laughs> we, we get tired, you know. So hopefully our Saints can... Uh, it might not look like it sometimes the way they play. Oh, you know? yeah. They look but like a Rocket... Rocket League machines. Well, they're the best of the best for a reason. Exactly. Uh, and looking to show us why they've earned such a title. It's but dangerous. Storm, he disagrees. <laughs> looking to become the best of the best himself. Chasing that ball down and sending it right in. Bouncing off the side from the attempted save. But it's not going to leave the net in time. And with 15 seconds in, you might want to just consider this. They're starting with a one-goal handicap. Basically, the Saints have to get two now to win the game over King University. But we have five minutes left. This could be a 15 to 15 <laughs> game for all I know. Uh, we're just getting started. We don't have a lot of time on the field. Let's let them tell the story about how this game is going to go through their gameplay. Yeah, yeah, good start here for King University. They're going to be very happy with that, but a shot on target coming out here from the Saints. Nitrix and Vesh trying to get a nice little play going, but a great defense from the side of King University. And now they have an attack of their own. Cynical can't find too much. Storm doesn't get the best touch. So he's going to pass towards the middle. Vesh is going to be there for the defense, and it's going to just be cleared out inside the Saints. They're going to maintain possession of the ball Ooh. here. Nitrix takes over one defender, but Cynical is there for the shot. Spoots is there on the save, but Turbo going to have a shot on target here. Vesh able to clear it out. Pretty simple play for him there. Nitrix going to find a pass over to Spoots. Can Spoots find anything on this attack? It's in the area of King University, and this is where the Saints want to be. This is where they want to be most of the game. Nitrix, though, however, gets blown up by Turbo, and this should slow the attack of the Saints. They are saved, but Vesh on the attack gets the demo of his own, and Spoots just misses the ball. Couldn't get the finish there, but Vesh. the attack is still going. Vesh trying to find something. Nitrix is going to be back in play after that demo. Can he find a nice little pass to his teammate? No, Cynicone is there for the clear, but Spoots is still in the air. Doesn't get the best touch, and Storm is going to have a very easy clearance. Maybe going to go for a goal of his own, but doesn't have any boost, so can't fight too much with that. Turbo, Turbo. never shot on top. Target. Nitrix gonna have to block that one. Very well played by both there. Vesh gonna find a nice little touch towards the middle. Can he take her over his defender Storm? No, no Lose boost 50 for him. there. And it's kind of a balanced game right now. No teams finding any really good chances, but the Saints are the ones that need to find the chances as the ball's in dangerous territory. 
being down one goal with three minutes, they kind of need to put the pressure on a little bit here. And I think that's exactly what they're looking to do. I've seen their momentum shift quite a bit on the side of the Saints. They were playing a little bit more on their side, but now it seems that they're more ball chasing than they were before. Uh, they And that, that's for the better. They have a very coordinated squad, usually of two, chasing the ball forward, trying to line up goals for each other, and they have one hanging back to catch any uh, stray, fire, stray shots that get fired uh, towards their goal. Uh, Spoo is looking to be the aggressor this time, attacking the net, oh. and he's almost very, very successful. Vesh going the for finish. the rebound shot. Nitric Spoo's he get a backflip here. Nitric has to stay on the back line because any stray shot could end up being disastrous. Just like that just for the Saints. Like they turn their offense into a defensive a turnaround for King University, which turns it into their own offense and ends up a goal for King University, making this game 2 nothing for King University. From what I've noticed, usually Vesh goes for the first shot, Spoods goes for the second one, and then Nitrix is always there to finish it off. He wasn't there that time, and King University off that, able to just get a counter attack going. Cynical gonna look for a nice little uh, attempt there, but couldn't find them with two minutes left. Now it's getting dire for St. Clair. Yes, two minutes left, but they need to find some opportunities and they haven't been able to find any. As King University, after that first game, a bit of a disaster defensively on their part, playing very, very solid in the second game and giving Saints a run for their money. Gonna look to take this game too in this winner's semifinal. Obviously the loser does go down to the lower bracket, but uh, Turbo gonna look for an attack here. Can't find too much. Storm now gonna go around one defender. Gonna go around Spoos as well. It's in a very dangerous, very dangerous area for the side of the Saints, but Vesh is there cleared out. And it will take it around, around one defender. It's gonna be a good opportunity here for Vesh. There's oh. two defenders on the side. Oh, the ball's running the line. Can he get the finish? No, he can't get it. Spoos couldn't get the best touch there, but it was a very, very good attempt from the side of the Saints. And now okay, Vesh gonna look for another shot on target, but Storm is there to clear it out. That's an opportunity the Saints are gonna bite themselves back for, but Vesh gets a shot on target there, Cynical. Carrying a defender with him. Yeah, gets the defender, but Spoots gets the demo. It's right in the middle there, but King University just feels like always have someone there to defend, and Saints just can't break through in this game too. Spoots gonna pass it over to Vesh. Maybe, maybe he can get one quick attack going as they need a goal now with one minute remaining. They don't have too much time left, but King University are just holding this down on lockdown turbo and Storm able to just play this defense so well. Storm takes around one defender, maybe gonna look for a third goal here. It's a very dangerous opportunity. The ball's right in front of the Saints net, but Turbo gets saved out by Nitrix. Can't find too much here. And with 40 seconds left, Saints need, need, need a goal basically right now. And a goal they might find here. Vesh barreling down, but it's gonna get swatted away by King University. Spoots, he has to bury the the any doubt he has of himself and just go for it. He has to carry the torch, Nitrix alongside with him, the torch that Vesh passed onto them from that attempt oh so long ago. I'm still counting this as a single goal attempt from the States. It's just, the ball has barely touched the ground. I don't even think it has since they made that shot and they just want to keep carrying it towards the net. But even if they get it, it's unlikely that they'll take this game as three seconds on the clock. Even if they find a cute goal here, it's not gonna allow them to win. And that's going to be the game for King University. It's the Saints winning uh, the first game pretty, pretty confidently. But it seems that King University was able to find their stride. And now uh, they're at a brisk running pace that the Saints can't quite catch up to. Yeah, King University playing well, very, very well in mm -hmm. that game too. Basically having no flaws defensively, no really even like really dangerous chances for the Saints, maybe a couple, but whenever there needed to be a defender on the line for the side of King University, there. always, always, always was there. They allow zero goals, a shutout, which we haven't seen too much of today. You know, our Saints <laughs> love scoring goals as we saw in the previous series, able to score many, many, but being shot out like that in game two is going to be pretty rough for them. But we, they did win game one with mm -hmm. four goals. So this series is far from over. Just just a little bump, uh, hopefully, for the Saints. Hopefully they can bring it back in game three. Yeah, giving King University their first defeat of the day. They won their previous series 3-0. Saints are now 1-1 tied with them. That that loss, though, I think is going to sting a little bit. But it, yeah. it might sting for the better. It, like, it might sting like a needle, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need it. Sometimes it reminds you, wakes you up, and it gets you ready for anything that's going to be coming at you for the rest of the day and as we get ready to go into the next game I think the Saints are going to have some considering to do for how they want to take this series in their favor. Yeah I agree I don't think they can play like last game. Is uh, going to find won't. a quick kickoff goal? You know that's how they beat King University in the first game they found the quick kickoff goal they allow one back then they found another quick kick, quick kickoff goal and Vesh right off the start gonna give Saints the lead that they so desperately needed especially after not being to score 
being able to score last game against King University. Getting one in five seconds must feel amazing. And King University are definitely all not happy with themselves with how, the way they've defended the kickoff so far in this series. Allowing three goals in three games is just not a good sign. As Saints look like they've turned up the aggression a little bit. They want to they wanna really put King University in the dirt here. As Vash going to get a shot on target. Going to get the second goal for the Saints in 22 seconds. And Saints are back with revenge and vengeance. That was scary to look at from my perspective. I can only imagine how scary that was for Turbo. Just looking at yeah. Vash <laughs> barreling that like... <gasps> Oh God! <laughs> and he just, he couldn't do anything about that. Um, and just like that, we're seeing a mirrored scoreline of the previous game. I feel like we're gonna see this quite often in this series where one team wins and the other team wins in the exact same way and the other team wins in the exact same way and then we're gonna end up game five overtime. <laughs> just like the previous series potentially. But Vesh looking to make that a little bit uh, unlikely. He wants to win this definitively, distinctly, without any questions or concerns, but it's going to be a lot easier said than done as Nitrix tries to beat out the 50 in the corner there. Vash is going to get the clear towards center field. Spoods chasing it down. Nitrix as well. They're going to get the ball towards the center. They're not going to be able to find it just yet. Spoods trying to beat the 50. Oh. He doesn't. He predicted the jump and he uh, got played for it. A broken ankle, as one may say. Vash trying to beat and he gets it. The clear and interception is going to send it forward, but Storm brings it right back. Going to get bumped out of the way. Turbo's not going to catch that. And Vesh is going to have, no, never mind. He would have had a free oh, reign a with that if he touched it, but he doesn't touch it. That leads to a clean shot from Cindy Cole off the other side of the field, and nobody's going to be able to defend it. I think they all thought Vesh might have even caught that ball. I Should thought have. he did too. Should have. But not quite going to lead to a goal for King University. A bit of a mechanical misplay, but at this level, any mechanical misplay is a crucial misplay, and King University able to take advantage. Now able to bring himself in the game just a little bit. Saints still do have that lead, but for the past maybe 40 seconds, King University really did put oh, on the pressure. Bash. Bash, trying to take oh. a solo ball right on the line, but it does need to cross fully for it to go in. And King University getting away with it there. Definitely we're all like yelling, guys, get it off Bash. the line, get it off the line. Vesh looking for a shot, can't find anything there. A good attack there for the Saints, but it doesn't lead to a goal. So in the end, it does not really matter as goals are all that are important. Doesn't matter how you get them, doesn't matter how they go in, how you defend them. As long as the ball goes in the net, that's all that matters. Now King University sending all three defenders to the ball there. Playing a baby a bit more scared after that opportunity from the Saints as Storm's gonna look to take it up the field. But it's great defense from Vesh. Turbo though gonna gonna get a nice little cross towards the middle. Nitrix is there for the clearance, but so is Cynical for the cross. Boots finds the clearance. Storm now gonna look for a 50-50 ball. Sending up to Vesh, but Vesh in the air. So clinical, so deadly. Able to find that defense. Storm, however, is not happy with that defense. It's gonna be opportunity for King University. They can't find anything. Now it's gonna be a counter for the side of the Saints. But Cynical, being that defender for King, is there to lock it down yet again. You know, they are down 2-1, but they are playing pretty aggressive. They want to go back, and halfway through the game, it's been a very exciting game so far. And Vesh, he, he wants to make it even look more impressive, chasing the ball up the net. Nitrix is chasing a defender, That's clearing it wide oh. open. He is a reverse bouncer or reverse bodyguard. Instead of defending Vesh, he's just a bulldozer. Look at him. Just in the net, he just swatted him out of the way. It wasn't even a demo. Just pushed <laughs> yeah, him. Just pushed him. Cleared it. That should be. That should count as the 10 assist. assists. <laughs> 10 that assists. Is, if you're asking me, the difficult. He didn't even I demo mean, him. It was a yeah. delicate push. Well played. Very well played from Nitrix, allowing Vesh to get a very clean shot on the net. And the Saints just need more of that. I feel like plays like that are very hard to coordinate, but they're near impossible to play against. When you're trying to play defense, the last thing you're thinking about is a guy coming out of your camera view and then pushing you out of the way. You're just just looking at the ball and how you're going to defend it. And then the next thing you know, Nitrix is just pushing you into a different city. <laughs> and it's not fun to play do. against. It's not fun to play against at all, but it's definitely fun to watch. Spoods oh, yeah. tries to go for another shot. Nitrix rebounding that. Spoods and Vesh taking it towards the skies. Oh, almost clipped it towards the center. That would have been the perfect center, but Nitrix finds it one that's close enough as Vesh is able to try to capitalize on it, but no progress is going to be made. Storm Ooh. almost bounced it off the turbo, back, though. but Turbo, though, is going to chase it right into the net after that shot uh, failed. Basically, I don't know where they find a goal. Storm with a very, very nice touch. Nice little assist over to Turbo. Spoos trying to get the save, but... I was just out of nowhere just like that. King University find another goal back, and now it's 3-2 for the Saints. They do still have the lead in this winner's semifinal. As we said, it's best of five. Loser does go to the loser bracket. Winner goes to the winner's finals. As the uh, Saints look to hold on in this game three after a very exciting series so far. 
King University want to find something back and they have a minute 16 to get the goal back. It's very, very possible, but Saints defense has been so crucial. Vesh does have a hat trick, so I think they're going to be looking to give him the ball more and more on mm -hmm. that offense in the air. It's going to, like, like right here. Can you find whoa, the one on three whoa. here? <laughs> oh. Taking it out every defender, but Cynical is there for the defense. One minute remaining, Spoods. Going to look to start the attack for the Saints. Get one more insurance goal would be amazing for them. Vesh in the air. So dangerous here. Can he take it around one defender? Yes, he does, but Cynical is there on the clear. And the more time wasted, the better for the Saints. But it's a shot on target maybe coming up from King University. Great defense from the side of the Saints. Those Spoods is there yet again to take it out. And now it's going to be a bit of a dangerous attack for the side of the Saints. Vesh, can he find a nice little attack off the roof? Can he find maybe a pass to himself? Yes, he does. Turbo with a great save around the line. And Vesh yet again looking so dangerous, almost finding his fourth goal of the game there. But 30 seconds left. Saints are putting on the pressure. And King University just haven't had a chance to even get a shot on target. If Saints can keep up this aggression for the last 20 seconds and not allow King University any opportunity, it would be a very good finish to game three for them. 15 seconds left. Let's see if anyone can find anything. Spoos flying through the air. Can he find the defense? Just get rid of the ball. 10 seconds left is what Saints is going to... Just saying, guys, don't allow a goal here. Play safe. Don't allow a goal. Get all three defenders on the ball. Yeah, Five seconds me, left. He says. Four seconds left. Two seconds left. One second left. As soon as the ball drops, it will be game three going over to the Saints. And yes, there it is. Saints get able to get a very, very close game from King University. <laughs> and that is going to be huge for them. I like how he uh, <laughs> yeah, pointed the, the car up. Just like, we got it, guys. We, we got, got it. it. Victory number one. But that was a very... Uh, I'm trying to find the exact word. That, that felt royal. That game just felt very classy, elegant. Everybody was poised and composed. Uh, the mistakes that were made were very understandable. Yeah. Um, nothing was really sloppy that game. And I feel like both teams played very, very well, very, very strong. And I feel like the scoreline reflected that. 3-2, not a disappointed uh, result at all. Yeah. But as you go into the next game, Saints are on match point. King University has their work cut out for them. And if Saints are able to get a, another kickoff goal like they did before, uh, anytime soon in this series, it could be pretty eerie for King University. But so far, so good, so safe for King University. Saints are going to have to try to figure out how to get this match in their favor. Yeah, that was a dangerous chance actually for King University off the start there off kickoff, which we haven't seen at all this series. But Saints able to clear it out. 0-0 well, zero, zero game. Doesn't feel like it's been 0-0 zero, zero every every other game early. There was a kickoff goal. Yeah. But this game can be a little bit maybe of a slow, slower paced game. Maybe not as many goals, but that means every goal will count so much more. There's a nice little pass over to Spoods, yeah, and there's an open net, but oh, Spoods misses the target. My depth perception is really off then. I uh, thought that was going right in. I, it was coming in hot. It was really hard to control, and oh, oh it's a very nice touch around the Ooh. defender, but Cynical is there for the defense. Very crucial for him to be there. Turbo and Vesh going up in the air, and uh, Vesh gets a nice little touch forward. Nitrix maybe going to look for something, but Storm is there. Spoods finds a nice, finds a nice little touch, and is there Vesh going to be there to clear it out? No, it's a dangerous attack from the side of King University, but they can't get a shot on target. Cynical going to find it in the air. Can he find a center of his own here? Oh, Spoods Spoods. gets a crucial miss there, but Vesh is there to clean and it up. And teamwork to get it out. The, the, that was like a team effort clear, bounce it into the air, and Spoods is able to rebound that out. But just like that, the offense is back in the favor of King University. Blue sides just tackling Orange. The attack is not over. I just noticed that they have the tag King in their name. I like that. King Storm, yeah. King Turbo, King Cynical. I like that a lot. Uh, but they're probably not too concerned with it. They want to earn that title, King. And they're going to try their best to earn oh, it. The Saints is Vesh. Oh, picks a very narrow pinch in towards the net but it's gonna get swatted out by King University. Knight Strix sending it back towards his side. Quite risky, but it might pay off as it allows him to get a very clean center. It's gonna be off angle, but they do get it cleared out. Knight Strix is still in the air, still fighting for any kind of airfield advantage. Spoods meeting the ball in the air, not gonna allow the center to go through, but <laughs> Storm just like that, it's gonna snuff out Vesh, Turbo, carrying it towards Spoods. If anything, Nitrix allowing him to get the perfect setup. It's bouncing down towards their net, but nobody's going to be behind it in order to send that in. That's the perfect goal you want to see. It's like it's like a guaranteed goal most of the time. If you have somebody behind the ball as it's bouncing towards the net, um, top down, it's very hard to defend against, but nobody's going to be able to capitalize on that. They're gonna, Saints are going to have to work hard to make a situation like that pop up again. Yeah, halfway through this game, four, no goals. Uh, we did say it could be a bit of a slower it's paced quiet. game, and that's exactly what's happening. Saints did that, have that one really, really good opportunity, but could not get it to go. Turbo going to get a demo on Vesh here, and that's going to slow down the attack from the side of the Saints. Spoods, though, on the wall here. Can he find the touch in the air? No, he cannot, and that's going to be bad for the side of the Saints. As 
Okay, University gonna have a nice attack going by Nitrix on the defense, able to take around one defender, around two, and Saints should be get, able oh, to get rid of it. Oh no, Vesh. Of Vesh! Gets a crucial miss there, can Spoots clean it up for him? Vesh is back in the goal Redemption. though. Redemption! Get out of here, get the ball out of here! So stay all say Spoots gets the clearance, and a bit of a mistake from the Saints, able to get cleared oh, up Spoots, here. Oh, Spoots, no, but Storm catches the clear! It's gonna go back and forth, Vesh is gonna manage to get it out. Spoots taking it to the air, they wanna get aggressive, Vesh bouncing it up. Goes for the 50 midair, but Cynical is going to beat that. Spoods chasing it towards his side of Cynical, but Nitrix is going to be there to catch it. They're going to have to just catch the rebound. Spoods does, bouncing it off the wall, but it is going to be meeting back towards them. Nitrix almost catches the rebound from Vesh, but it's not going to be quite where he wants it to be. Vesh now on the offensive side, beating the clear just a little bit. He gets the touch that he needs. Nitrix going to be wiping out King Turbo. And just like that, we're back on the Saints side. Vesh, but the oh, Cynical's gonna take the shot, but it's gonna be off angle. Spoods now on a clear away, a cutaway, oh, perfect, be no it. resistance, but he's not gonna be there in time. Just like that, we're one minute remaining with no goals. It's quiet, Theo, too quiet if you're asking me. It's quiet, but I guarantee you the comms are not quiet. Oh, Everyone yeah. is, this is like, oh, this is just such like, Good atmosphere if you're playing uh, the players, you know, game 4-0-0, zero, zero, 40 seconds left, Saints looking for a goal, it's a nice touch by Vesh, but can't find it, King University obviously do not want to go down to the lower bracket, neither do the Saints, and the Saints have a 2-1 lead in this series, so one goal could be the end of the series for them. King University are going to have to play their absolute best, not allow that to happen. Nitro's going to have to find a big touch here, and he does. Takes around one defender, can't take around Storm. Yes, he does, but Turbo is there on the clearance, and Storm now going to look for a pass. Maybe a shot on target himself. Nice little touch to himself, but it's a great save coming out from Spoos. It's still in the danger area for the Saints. Can they get rid of it? It's a nice little attack by Cynical, but great defense oh, from inside no. the Saints, and Spoos able to clear it out. Ten seconds left. The King University are looking for a goal here, but five seconds left. They have to get a good shot on target. Maybe Saints can get a quick counter attack going. Can they keep it up in the air? One second left. The ball hits the ground. The no. Game is over, and we're going to overtime in this zero, game four. Zero, zero. Yeah, we're zero, either zero. going to a game five, or we're going to walk away with the Saint victory. Either way, it's going to be a very impressive way to get this going. Good either way, Spoods tries to get the cutaway off of the clear. It's not going to go quite his way. Storm and Vesh are going to be battling out. Turbo now chasing Vesh on the other side as Spoods keeping it in the blue corner. Cynical trying to perfectly line it up in the air, but Nitrix is going to interfere. Vesh now chasing, and Nitrix not too far behind as he always likes to be just subtly close enough to the ball to get any stray shots and fire it back. But now he has to be playing the net as King University starts getting aggressive. All sides of the Saints are going to be playing against the wall here, trying to make sure the ball doesn't go anywhere too scary. Vesh going to be trying to beat out Turbo. He loses the 50 in the air, but Nitrix is going to capitalize. Oh. And the Cynical is going to beat him, though. It's going to leave the ball stagnant, kind of floating a little bit right where it was before. Now Nitrix is going to be trying to go for the goal. Oh. Vesh just oh. narrowly misses so as Cynical comes out from the side and wipes it away. Spoods is now going to be trying to get this going. Nitrix off the wall. Vesh behind. Catches it in the air, well, but it's going to have to be Spoods to clutch it clutch it away from the ground, a shot onto the net that Nitrous is going to have to save. And Vesh. Vesh clears it up, bounces it towards the net, but it's not going to be enough. Spoods now has to get the interception, but the clear is going to come out from Cynical as he tries to take it towards the net, but Great Nitrix save. behind Vesh. Pushing it forward. Can he get the goal here? No, King Turbo is going to be in the net, patiently waiting. But Nitrix now is going to try to clear it in the corner. Spoods off the top side. If only there was someone there behind him, that could have been very scary for King University. But Vesh oh, is going to have to be playing defense here. Oh, okay, oh, Nitrix clearance. is able to get the clear there. If he played a little bit too early there, that would have been just popping it right up in front of his net too late. Probably would have went in. So he perfectly timed that push out. And now Vesh trying to get this to be the perfect circumstance for the Saints. Two minutes left now, Theo, and 0-0 zero, zero still. This overtime is a lot to be desired for both teams. Two minutes left, more like two minutes gone, and God knows how many <laughs> right. minutes left. Both teams looking for a goal, but it just feels like there's not too much team play, just a lot of solo one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and one-on-one -on -one opportunities are pretty easy to save out when you have three defenders. So hopefully either team can find a good team goal here. Turbo gonna look for a shot, maybe a pass to Storm. There it is, there's the team play we were talking about. Nice little pass there, but Storm couldn't get it on target as Saints have all three defenders back. Vesh on the on the ceiling able to find a nice little clearance there. Don't see that too much as Cynical gonna look for a shot on target, maybe a pass off the backboard. There comes in Turbo, great save from Nitrix, and they don't find the goal here. Two minutes 
50 seconds gone in this overtime. Still no goals in this match. Storm gonna have a huge one-on-one -on -one here, but Spoods is there to clear it out. Turbo gonna look for a shot on target, but Vesh there with the save yet again. Not letting anything go in. Both teams playing on absolute edge. Turbo getting a shot no, on target, but, but Spoods is there on the save. Storm does take out Nitrix though, so Saints can't find too quick of a counterattack, but Vesh oh! gonna able to find the clearance. Great team play look there from Spoods and, and Vesh, but they can't get too much going as King University able to find the clearance. Nitrix wins a huge 50-50 and it's going to slow down the attack of King University. Cynical going to look for an attack, but Vesh is there for the defense and Trusting no shot on clash. target. Nitrix able to get the clearance going. Storm now going to look for a shot on target of his own, but it's just great defense coming out from both sides. No offense found on either side. I don't remember the last time we saw a really, really dangerous opportunity here in the overtime. Maybe there it is for the Saints. Turbo getting a clearance. No, Nitrix will choose not to go for the 50-50. Going to go for the 100-0. Going to put it in here. the corner. Gets it around one defender. Spoods gonna look for a touch there, but Storm is there to defend. I can't find too much. Spoods back in there. Vesh now gonna find a crucial touch over, but Turbo is gonna be there near to take it over. Vesh Nitrix gonna take it back for him. Can he find a nice little pass toward a teammate here in the middle? Gonna look for it here. Gonna take it around his defender, but Storm is there on the line. Spoods there. Can't find too much. Ooh. Doesn't have a good chance there. Cynical gonna take the counter attack. Saints need to get back here. Four minutes in this overtime. They getting it. very, very close, but they can't find anything here. It's just great defense and offense coming out from both sides. Storm University. I um, mean, Storm just gonna look for a shot there as King University look for a goal of their own, but they can't find too much. Vesh on the defense gets to save there from Cynical. Storm now going to look for a pass to a teammate, but Spoods floating in the air a little bit. Turbo maybe finds a good shot on target. No, it's just off target. It's going to be a teammate to follow up. No, Vesh is going to... Oh, Nitro going to be on the clearance. He's going to look for a pass toward Vesh now. Vesh in the air. He's going to take it one-on-one. -on -one. Can, can he find anything to say on one defender, but Turbo is there on the defense. It's going to be cleared out. Is that shot on target? No, it's not. No! It's a dangerous opportunity for Turbo, but he doesn't find anything, and Saints get away with a bit of a mistake there. Nitro's going to have to find the clearance on, his, on the line here, but Vesh is there for the clean storm gonna look for something here not too much going for him that way spoods getting the 50 50 clearance and five minutes into this overtime still no ten goal. minutes with no <laughs> goal theo 10 minutes since we last saw a goal and a little bit more for an in between between the game these teams are playing out of their mind but spoods wants to bring us back to sanity back to reality and he wants to use gravity to his advantage to get this flowing right into the net but it's not going to be that easy. It's never that simple. Both teams are playing out of their minds, like you said, or like I said. I don't even you remember said. anymore. There's so much going on in this game. So the scores are getting out of this world at this point. 580 on the side of Cynical. 520 on Storm. Oh, it's a chance so for Nitrix. Things. Nitrix cradling it towards, but it's not going to be capitalized on. Spoods, you have to do something here and something he must. Nitrix with him. Vesh, Saints are committing so oh, much big demo. to get the demo, but this Two demos. Two. You gotta do something, man. Anything, but it's not gonna be there. Now, in fact, it's going towards the same side. Spoods chasing it up the wall. He has to get it off the ceiling somehow, some way, bouncing oh, it up nice. towards the goal, but it's just gonna be a lot of aggression. Vesh bouncing them away. They're getting a lot more physical now. Another, Another demo. demo. The Saints realize that they can start crashing into the other team to make the game a little bit easier for them. But again, there's just no capitalization off of it. We got a double demo right in front of their net. There was no goal. How does that happen? I That's a, a question happened. for the elders, I don't even know who to consult on that, but it's just gonna be a matter of time before somebody makes a critical mistake, or we could be here for another 10, 15 minutes. Oh, there it is! No! What a save. not! You spoke too soon, buddy! As Turbo and Vesh chasing the ball, Storm as well, gonna take it away from Vesh's clutches, but now it seems to be a perfect moment. Vesh. A 50, but it's not gonna go his way. Nitrix off the wall towards the net. Anything, anyhow, he's praying to the Rocket League gods for favor and favor he might just find as Nitrix. No oh, way, no. Post. How off the crossbar into the air. The teams have to do something. They're done leaving it to chance. Somebody has to take control. Nitrix and Vesh chasing oh, this one. My. It's going to be Vesh. It's not a 50 when you have two chances. You can go one option or the other. And the Nitrix was going to go for the wrong way. Vesh was going to get the right solution there. And again, it's just a relentless offense chase a swarm it's like hitting a hornet's nest things are flying around speeding zipping stinging too with the demos that are coming out another one spoods gets and nitrix is gonna be getting a critical touch just making this i gotta say if the saints don't win this one this is oh. gonna be one for the history books because then that's gonna be leading us to game five and who knows what's gonna happen there yeah both teams just cannot find a goal we've seen 12 and a half minutes of rocket league now zero goals after such Fierce fights earlier in the series, a lot of goals being scored. Now both teams on the defensive. It's a nice attack. You're coming up from oh. the University, but Spoods is there on defense. You can see Saints 
literally putting every single person in the net. They're like, guys, no matter what, we're not letting them score. Hopefully, we'll, they'll make a mistake before us. And that's what the game is right now. Just one mistake will be crucial. Nitrix able to get that 1v2 in the air, getting a nice clearance for himself. And now Saints are going to look for the counterattack. Vesh in the air. Going to look for a nice little pass toward a teammate. There's Spoot. Can he put the finish? Oh, it's off target. Turbo's there for the save. <laughs> My depth perception is off. I swear, I thought that I was thought that one was in too. Turbo now on the 1v1 situation. Can he find the finish? Spoot. Spoot takes his time that to make sure he doesn't mess up the bounce. Very, very close there. And now Nitrix going to be in, th in the air fighting for the Spoots. Gets demoed out. Vesh going to find a nice little clearance. But not a lot of opportunity for the Saints. Little do I say. Stash. Nitrix over Falling to Vesh. Going to try to find maybe Spoots in the middle here. There's a nice little Nobody's center. There. Nitrix is there, though. It's a shot right above the net. Can Saints find the follow-up, which they found Spoots. so many times. Got to go for it, man. You nice got to go touch. for it. Nice He's going for it. He's goal. hungry. Oh, it was just 1v3. It's too hard when you're 1v3. But Nitrix in the corner. Gets a nice little miss there. Vesh is going to have a lot of time here. Can he find the 1v3? Gets past no. one. Can't get past the second. And Spooz is going to be able to pick it up in the corner here. Yet again, you can see King University playing so passive. Not making any, any mistakes. All three defenders going for the ball. It's no a nice opportunity way. here. But Vesh is there on the defense. So many clutch plays coming out here. As we have nine minutes in this overtime. Absolute insanity going on in this match. But neither team can find anything to break through Vesh now. It will take around his defender and it's going to be going into the corner. Maybe a bit of a dangerous attack here for the side of the Saints. Can they find anything here? There's Spoots with a nice little center. Isn't one there? Turbo misses the ball. Vesh going to be here on the recenter again. It's going to be a nice little touch from him. Can he find the pass? No. Send the call there on the defense. Spoots up in the air though. Wins the 50 50. Nitrix going to look for a nice little pass to himself. Going to look for a pass towards the middle now. No. Can't find anything. Send the call on the defense. Spoots trying to find anything. Anything. Just anything. One goal is anyone. All anyone needs. Vesh. A thousand score. I've never seen that before in a Rocket League <laughs> game. Nine shots. Zero goals. <laughs> it's just craziness going on right now. Spoots able to find the ball here. Maybe he can find an aerial solo this goal. Is it, Taking baby. it from the top. The yeah, interception, the fifth plus one, the storm is on the net. No way, Spoots! No, cynical! Chasing it from the side. Storm is approaching and he wants it in, but he's no. not. He's gonna get it! And that's gonna be the game for King University. Almost taking it to be 15 minutes since the last goal. And that's gonna be the game. The storm approached. Oh. And and it was glorious. It was a storm indeed. And as other series are wrapping up their game five CO, we're just getting into we're hours. We're just getting into hours. We definitely have, the, all the other teams are probably already done their matches. Yeah. And we just had a 10 minute overtime, absolute insanity. And oh my goodness, we're going to yet another game five. A very, very close game there. Nobody could find the upper foot, but that last attack just found the one-on-one. -on -one and <laughs> because of soccer. Exactly, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And it gets the one-on-one -on -one there and gets a nice little finish. Vesh not able to find the defense. And that was the one mistake that I team was looking for. Vesh went for the risky save, couldn't get it. The ball was going too fast. It's not an easy save to make. You have to kind of predict of what the enemy is going to do and couldn't get it done there. And just like that, we're going to our second game five of the day. <sighs> a lot of Rocket League is going to be Oh, it's a lot today. of Rocket League. Tell. I can tell, but if I got to be honest, I don't even remember how that goal happened. <laughs> like, it just, uh, it just, it just was happened. a one-on-one, -on -one and they scored. That's literally uh, all that's in my brain right now. I, I feel like that's been the name of the series so far and the name of the game. It's just a, a series. When you're playing this well, when both teams are so coordinated, you're not going to be able to make these like uh, coordinated assaults very often. It mostly will come down to a one-on-one -on -one that can be capitalized off of whoever might be nearby. Absolutely. And it's just... That was the one that was going to win it. There were so many close calls for both sides. And it's just going to be who knows what we're going to see. In fact, this game five that we're about to go into could he probably be the most boring thing of all time. Could After be. that previous one, it sapped all potential energy out of this one. Who knows? But we could be going to a 20-minute overtime for all oh, I know. No, not 20 minutes overtime. <laughs> Why not? You don't want 20 minute overtime? I mean, I like it, but uh, <laughs> uh, for the players, it's not good. Oh, yeah, sure. The, the players will be tired, exhausted. Like, playing 20 minutes of Rocket League, uh, like, it's a high-action pace game. You're always talking. You're always doing something. You, mm -hmm. You're just thinking, acting off reflexes, basically, at, at points. And doing that for like 20 minutes straight, I couldn't imagine. Like in other games, you get some time to breathe. Here, you get no you get time to breathe. Respawn timers and all. Yeah, that. you get respawn timers. A storm. I'm gonna find a very easy goal for King University. While we go. Why couldn't he do that like nine minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, let's see what happened here. It was just a nice touch by Turbo as a bit of a mistake by Nitrix kicking it right into him. And uh, mm. King University finding that 1-0 lead. And after last game, Saints couldn't find a goal in 15 minutes. They need to find one in 4 minutes, 30 seconds to keep themselves in this upper bracket and sell themselves to the final.
There's a reason that the King University won 3-0 in their last series. I think we're seeing that now, a resilient force, an yeah. opposition when they need to be, and a completely indestructible defense when they need to be as well. Spoots is going to try to make something happen here, but Turbo is going to make something happen against him. Now Nitrix tries to get the clear there. Cynical is going to catch it. The rebound is going to go their way. Vesh has to be there in the net. You don't want to get too haughty here. Nitrix is going to be chasing it up. Vesh getting it up, but nobody's there. Rebounding it. <laughs> it's not going to be a successful shot. He went for it, though. I'll give him that. Nice Spoots. And now Nitrix chasing it off the wall, centering it, clearing it, darting it towards the ground, almost going for a pinch there, but not quite. Spoots now has to find something. Nitrix. Passing it to Storm almost. Spoods trying to get the rebound off of his back, but it's going to be beat out. Storm taking it forward. Turbo also on the back line here. Oh. But the shot not going to connect. Vesh Danger. cornering this one here, and Spoods missing the ball in the air. Nitrix tries to carry it out, leaving Spoods on the back line here, and Vesh to be the offensive pressure that oh, they Vesh. need. He's going to find oh. anything, but he. What a save. What a save. Like the way. He, like it's not. It wasn't enough to just be in the net and to get yeah, to touch yeah. the ball. He needed to play that perfectly. He had to angle that one perfectly. Up, like up. He, really high If up. he like jumped into it, that wouldn't have been good. Another shot on target coming out from Storm. And as you said, King University in these last two games, defense has been like just impenetrable, it feels like. Saints cannot find a goal if their life depended on it, but their life uh -oh. kind of does depend on it. Vesh, it really does. Gonna look for a shot here. Can't find too much. There's gonna be a follow up coming up from Nitrix, but Cynical finding two saves, and now it's maybe a bit of a dangerous counter attack coming out from King University. Can Storm find the middle? Yes, he does. Vesh gonna be there in the air. There's cleared out. Cynical just gonna control it, probably take it back a little bit, take his time, let the team reset, let the team get some boost as a uh, spoot. It's gonna be the freaking test. Storm gonna look to take it up himself, and no def two defenders actually from the side of the Saints. Nitrix able to clear it out, but still in a dangerous area for the side of the Saints. They want to get rid of this one quickly, and with two minutes is left. They absolutely need a goal to not get sent down to the lower bracket here. And King University are just going to look to hold on with their solid, solid defense. Just trying to play mistakeless. Nitro is going to look for an at attack of his own. Vesh finds the defense though. Gets demoed out and King University every second that takes by on the clock probably feels so good for them. They get an attack going here. Can they find anything? It's a bit of a danger. A huge demo. A bit of a miss there. Oh, Turbo gets the, gets the follow up. And that is going to be absolutely crucial goal for the side of King University. Saints just can't seem to find a goal. A huge demo there by Storm. Getting an easy pass to Turbo and a great finish by him. Great team play from the side of King University as they take a 2-0 lead in this game five. I got to say, that might be the nail in the coffin for the Saints. They have not found a goal since the end of game two or game one. No, yeah, game, game two, two. Game two. They won. No, game three. Game three. They You're won right, game yeah. three. Yeah. Game, they have not found a goal since the end of game three, and that's been over 15 minutes ago. And now they're looking at uh, being sent to the lower bracket in the eye. They need to get two goals before one minute and 30 seconds elapses here. It's going to be quite difficult for them. But if they are going to do it, they're going to have to oh, hold it from the feet. very depths of their guts to make this work. And Spoods looking to do just that. But he's going to be meeting three of the King University's finest right on the field. Nitrix as well. Vesh is not even being able to open these guys up so far. It's quite the task. Nitrix bounding it off the wall. But again, King University is there to intercept their plays and their attempts at such. Nitrix off the backside with Vesh. They're going to be meeting on the left side now. Spoods could miss the interception there. Vesh has to go for against the one on two. He's not going to win it. They're going to send it forward, but Nitrix is behind him. Vesh centering it towards oh, Spoods, but sure. Cynical jumps in the air and intercepts it again. So many interceptions going on here. Vesh now waiting on the backside. The demo's coming out for Spoods. Sending it up. Vesh meeting in the air potentially. Nitrix goes for it, but misses Spoods. Nicking it away on the bottom there. Spoods sending it forward. Vesh goes oh, for the shot. Nice the cynical try. is there. An iron wall, it seems. Spoods now. That could be a goal. That could be. Oh, almost save. was, but Vesh was there to prevent it. Cynical chasing it up. 18 seconds yeah, left no for time. Saints to get two. It's not going to be very likely for them. It's going to be quite Impossible difficult. Impossible from this position. 10 seconds left. A nice little shot on target coming up from Turbo. And that's able to the get. The third goal for King University, and yeah, as you said, that is going to be the series. A bit of a unfortunate yeah. ending towards this series. After that overtime, I think Saints just maybe just didn't have it in them anymore. They were just 
so probably tired after the 3-2 last series. A 50-minute game. Nitrix the only one left on the Saints. <laughs> Nitrix in the 1v3 looking to Can find. he pull it back? Oh, what a save coming out from Turbo there on the side of King University. Saving Saints yet another goal. But with that being said, congratulations to King University on moving on to the winner final. Mm -hmm. Our Saints are going to be in the lower bracket run because it is double Elam. They were in the upper bracket, but we did see in the lower bracket some very, very dangerous names. So hopefully we can get the bracket as soon as possible and talk about it a little bit. But that, let's yeah. talk about the series real quick. Very good series. I mean, there's not much to talk about except for the whole, uh, you know, everything. Minute. Yeah, every every exact aspect of it. That game four, was it? Yeah, game, yeah, game four. four. That that was uh, that must be a huge mental shock for oh, the yeah. Saints, like to to go losing that. that and then to lose just they just need they were one goal away from being in winners finals, yeah. and to lose it like that it's it's pretty tough. Ooh. But speaking of winners finals, let's take a look at the bracket to see who's going to be fighting for it there. U Ottawa versus King University Saints are going to be moving down to face the winner of North Texas versus Davenport University. And that seems to be going 25 minutes, another hour-long series, at least <laughs> according to Start.gg for us. So yeah. um, very, very tough for the Saints. But they are going to get a little bit of a breather. While well, Algonquin College did advance, yeah. beating Udem Esports 3-0. Uh, now they're going to be facing Weber State University. We potentially could be facing off against the Algonquin College again if we win this series, depending on who wins that matchup. But Saints have quite the day cut out for them. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very hard... like. I can't. It's going to be a very, very hard day for the Saints. Like I can't stress it enough, especially after the first few games they've had three, two, three, two, absolutely thrilling series, overtimes, five game series. They're going to be tired, and this is today is going to be their biggest test. If they can pull through this loser bracket and uh, win this, win the CRL Open, it would be absolutely massive. It would, it would shock absolutely everyone in the tournament from how like difficult it's been for them. So mm -hmm. if they can do it today, it would show uh, the resilience and strength of our players, not mentally, but both mentally and physically, because it's it's not easy to play Rocket League for it's such a, a long it, time. I think the, the physical demand of the game is often understated. Of course. The, I've, I've watched Nitrix playing this game. It's... It's astonishing, oh, like yeah. the way they play and the way they have to manipulate, the way they communicate, the way they do everything. Sometimes I'm walking, you know, to the back room for the broadcast and I, and the, their, their players are on the stage and hearing them talk, seeing them play, seeing how invested they get into it. It's very physically demanding, I can tell. Um, but as we're waiting for that series in the lower back to finish up, we're going to get another quick break here as we wait for the action to continue on this Rocket League Sunday. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you guys very soon.
coming over here. I hear the. Oh, here we are. Let's go. We got. We got. What do we got? Losers quarterfinals. We got Saints Green against University of North Texas. Sorry about the wait, but we needed to wait for the University of North Texas to finish their game. We're gonna get a good start here, going for the Saints. Boo's trying to find the goal. No goals on the board yet. Find it. And yeah, this is one of those games where Saints don't find an early goal, but could get one scored against them. Ooh. And Pajamalama <laughs> scored a goal. Very nice finish from him. Pajamalama. Pajamalama. Thank welcome. you very much. Gets a nice goal to start there from his own half. And Saints going down 1 0 early. We do have the graphic missed up just a little bit. We are. No, it's no we're good. We're good. We're the red team. I thought yeah. we scored for some reason. My brain is. A <laughs> You're fresh. biased. Yeah, That's I am biased. Is. That is true. And my brain's fresh off the break. So. Let's get back into it. What are you expecting from the Saints this year? I'm expecting, um, hopefully, for them to at least score one game again since that match against King University. It's been Brutal. maybe about 50 minutes since they last scored a goal. But to be fair, <laughs> most of that was break time. Yeah. But hopefully, the Saints can recover from that long break. They had a lot of time to reevaluate, reassess. In fact, I was talking to one of the players out there. They're optimistic. They're not too down about it. And they're hoping that eventually that they can pull it together and make it all the way to the finals and prove that they belong in this tournament. But until then, they have to have their their focus, laser focused on University of North Texas and just focus on the goal that's at hand. And that's to beat the opponent that's right in front of them. And it looks like the Saints are going to be trying very hard to get that done. They're chasing through. Oh, nice touch. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, okay. That's not going to be perfect. Electro wave going to be chasing it down. And Pajama Llama, I can understand how it was hard to read. In all caps, yeah. it's hard to read. But you see it like, that's oh, it's Pajama Llama. I yeah. like that name. Vesh here. Chasing to the corner. Pajama Llama rebounding that off the wall, it seems. Vesh going into it. Night Tricks now. Trying to get what? the save. It just rolled. Lukia is just going to get a very clean roller goal. It says it was 117 kilometers per hour. I don't believe you. Okay, that was a slow roller. I mean, just like that from his own net. I thought Son was going to get it, but nobody got it. And University of North Texas get a 2-0 lead to start. And uh, let's see what the Saints can do to bring this one back. Vesh going on the attack and maybe if able to find a goal back right away. Yes, Spoo's right on line. Can they get it in? No, they can't. Lucia able to get the save. And that's so heartbreaking for the Saints. They really wanted that one to go win. But they are down 2-0 in this first game. It is a best of five. And the loser is out of the tournament. So both teams are playing for their lives. Let's see what the, what both teams can get done. It's a good shot on target by Nitrix, but Pajama Lama is there with the save. Very, very close for the Saints, getting almost getting that goal back for them, but uh, could not get it there. And it's good defense coming out from the side of University of North Texas. Saints have to be on the defense. Pajama Lama is going to be able to take it. Spoods takes out Lucio, though, so won't be too much of an attack as Saints are going to be able to get a counter going Vesh in the air. Can he get a nice one-on-one? One-on-one. -on -one. Can he get it in? Oh, oh he gets it. Yeah, he gets okay. it. Feels like every single time Vesh has that one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> it gets saved, but he's there to bounce it right back in. He stays on top of the ball. Look, the save comes out, hits right off him, and right back into the net. Very, very well played by Vesh. He has perfected the aerial gameplay. If he's playing one of those stubby little cards, I would not have gone in, but he caught it right off the grill, right off the skin of his teeth, yeah. quite literally. And it was worth it all in the end. Spoods now seeing if they can recapture the magic. Retribution is what that goal felt like. They were able to redeem themselves. They were able to find a goal finally after all this time. Now 2-1, they broke the curse, prove that they are still in this tournament and are able to make this game their own destiny. With two minutes left on the clock, Theo, it's not impossible. It's gonna go either way. No, nothing is impossible. And at this stage in the tournament, uh, every single team left is an absolute powerhouse. All of these teams are very strong and no match will be easy for the Saints. I know you people here, losers bracket, are probably a couple of the worst teams down there. No, it's only good teams oh, yeah. left. And it should be exciting series all across the board. It's going to be a nice little attack here for the Saints, but Pajama Lama out in the air, able to close it out. Nitrix going to go for the challenge here on the side as well as Spoods, but goes by both of them. Nitrix able to control, but Pajama Lama getting a touch there. Vesh going to go for another aerial attack. I don't think the University of North Texas are going to allow him many of those one-on-ones for the rest of the series after seeing that. But here's Electrowave with a one-on-one. Can't do what Vesh does best. 
can't get the finish. It's a great save coming out there from the Saints as Lucioff tried to find the finish but couldn't get it. And with a minute 15 left, Saints, they just need to get up the court here. They need to get up the field and find a goal for themselves to bring this back a little bit. Maybe take it to overtime if possible. But Lucioff is going to have a nice chance here. Misses the shot on target and it's going to be defense now for the side University of North Texas. One minute left. Saints on the attack. Spoos takes around his defender. Gets a nice little center here. Is there anyone to follow up? Uh -oh. No. Vesh going to put it back up there and maybe a quick reset for the Saints. Nitro is going to get a touch there. So Lucia can't find too much with that though. Spoods is going to be able to find and clear his electro. Electro, electro wave, electro wave. That's his name. Electro like wave, <laughs> gonna have a nice little attack here going for Pajama Llama, but cannot find the finish. And Saints with 35 seconds left, get a nice little chance here, but it's a great save by Lucia and the University of North Texas are able to hold on. 30 seconds left. Let's see what the Saints can get done here. They need a goal desperately. They need to find it here, and they need to find it now. But the ball is not where you want it to be. Electro wave, a nice little pass off the back, up the net. Can but the Saints defend and this? Boots. Yes, they are there on the defense, but. The Defense is not what they need right now. They need 15 seconds to score this goal to Ten bring now. this game to overtime. Coming down, Vesh gonna have this final attack, but Electro Wave is able to clear it out. And if he gets one more touch in the air, this game could be over. Two seconds left. The Saints can't let the ball drop. Let's see if they can get it and done. They no, do. they cannot. And University of North Texas take the game one. Not in dominant fashion, but it was pretty smooth sailing. They scored those two goals and were able to just hold on to that lead. Well played by them. Hopefully our Saints can get, 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 get rid of the rust a little bit. You know, they mm -hmm. play for a little while, and uh, hopefully they can bring it back in Game 2. But uh, a rough start for them in Game 1. I feel like, obviously, every game in Rocket League is at least five minutes long. That just felt a lot shorter. Yeah, I don't maybe know it was just me. Yeah, It did feel a lot shorter. It felt very short, that one. Um, maybe that's for the better. You know, <laughs> it was a loss, after all, for the it Saints. Was. And, you know, the shorter, the better in that case. They don't have to take too long to dwell on it. Absolutely. If anything, they can just go right back into the next game, learn from their mistakes, and just play at their best as they always do and try to rebound off of that but from what I do recall seeing in that very very quick one uh, you know North Texas they just played so strong there was a united front that they always had they always felt like they were moving as a unit whereas the Saints were kind of scattered sometimes um, I think the Saints are gonna have to just be a little bit more cautious with their approach with their attacks and especially with their defense make sure that they always have somebody watching those sneaky little aerial assaults or those rollers for yeah, sure that you know? roller was that was brutal for the saints you know yeah. as soon as that scored they were definitely guys guys we gotta we gotta lock him we gotta <laughs> snap into we can't allow that to happen especially at this point in the tournament when we're playing against such strong teams and off the kickoff electro we've almost found a very very dangerous touch there onto the target but uh, no kickoff goal this game. This game, we're going to have a little bit of maybe a slower start. Both teams are going to get a nice little setup going. It's going to be an attack by Pajama Lama. Can he find anything here? No, it's great defense coming up from the Saints. And all three defenders are back here. Alusia gets a nice touch here. Vesh able to clear it out over to Nitrix. Can he find the pass? Yes, he does. And they managed to get past the defender, but Pajama Lama is there for the contest. Lucio going to come in here as well. And he's going to put it over toward the corner. Spoods going to be there. He's going to kick it out and look for a counterattack of his own. It's a big chance for Spoods here. Can he get the finish? No, Pajama Lama with a great. Great save there, and Lucia is able to get rid of it. And Saints, with the first opportunity of the game, can't find too much. But it was a, it was a good chance, and things are going to be looking good for the Saints if the ball stays in this okay. area, and it does. And Nitrix finds the finish right there. Nice little pass off the ceiling. When you put the ball right in front of the net, good things will happen. Pajama Lama with a bit of a misplay, not getting the save there. P touches it onto the ceiling just a little bit too hard. Sets it up for Bash and. Saints take an early 1-0 lead against University of North Texas, which they so need. They absolutely need that. I, even just from a practical standpoint, you know, having the first goal is obviously an advantage in and Always. of itself. But the mental, the, the boon that they get from scoring it in such a decisive fashion as well, just kind of reminds them that they are some of the best Rocket League players on this continent, if not on the planet, you know? Yeah. And sometimes you just need a little bit of a moment like that to remind you of who you are and what you're capable of so you can start playing more like yourself and more like you're like you should be. Spoods trying to get a sneaky little shot there off the crossbar at the top, but it's gonna get cleared out. Pajama Llama and Electra Wave, Lukia as well. Pushing back against this offense from the Saints, but Vesh trying to control the skies here like a beautiful Air Force and Spoods spiking it up as well into the corner. Somebody's gonna have to try centering it. Electro Wave gets a very critical touch to make sure it doesn't land where they don't want it to. Spoods is gonna be given the opportunity to chase this one forward. Vesh is gonna fall back with Nitrix and Spoods on the front lines here. They're gonna try centering it. 
gonna get cleared out and Vesh is gonna have to, Nitrix is gonna pass this one back rather. And now Electro Wave gonna take it towards the Saint's side and Vesh down the wall, trying to get a very good carry over into the pinch, but it's gonna get interrupted by Lukia. Now Nitrix is gonna try meeting him along the wall, but he's gonna take it up into the air. And Pajama Llama downside, he's trying to cradle it, but gonna Vesh is gonna have to intercept that one. Spoots taking it down. Nitrix is gonna be chasing if he could get the demo, oh, oh, but it looked oh. like Electro Wave kind of own gold there, if for I'm not sure. mistaken. Let's see if we can get a look at that again. Spoo's going for the long range one. Electro Wave trying to intercept, ended up going right into that. It would have went in either way, yeah. but you might as well at least try to send that one out. Yeah, he has to get a touch there, otherwise it's 100% going in. And that's another mistake just coming out from University of North Texas. Saints able to capitalize, take a 2-0 lead here, but they want to give up a goal early here and they do not. They defend. Now with two goals, they're going to play probably a bit more cautious, a bit more, a bit more calm. Now that they got those two goals, which came out of nowhere, basically, kind of mistakes of University of North Texas. Wasn't an insanely good play by the Saints or anything like that, but they will for sure take it. And they do have this 2-0 lead with two minutes. We'll look to just hold on. But University of North Texas, just like that, get a goal. Nitrix kind of just stood there in the net, didn't, didn't try to save it, maybe had no boost. Unfortunate scenario for them, but his controller got unplugged, you know. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe that Honestly. was the case. Like, unironically, could have, could have maybe uh, had a bit of a problem with the control there. Kind of just stood there. colossal miscommunication of some kind. Maybe it's someone don't move. <laughs> just don't move. <laughs> don't move. Man. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Just don't move. <laughs> <laughs> it's not impossible. You know, the comms can get pretty hectic. Oh, but not as hectic as the back of Vesh's beautiful wagon. So, 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 so beautifully. Look at that. Nice finish. Look at that. Very nice finish. Perfect place, perfect time. Just using the geometry perfectly, able to get the <laughs> angle there. And they allow that goal, maybe a bit of a mistake by, by Nitrix or by the communication, as you said. And Saints, right away, get their goal back. Able to maintain that two-goal lead with two minutes left in this game. Putting on the pressure yet again. Balls right in front of the net of University of North Texas, but not able to go win. And the University of North Texas just need to calm down a little bit. I think they're just playing too nervous it feels like just making silly mistakes which shouldn't be happening at this level of play it's a nice little touch by pajama llama and lucio is gonna look for something there can he find the touch no he misses it spoods gets a nice take around the defender nitrix on the defense electro wave and is gonna look for a cross here but saints are able to play defense very very well here lucio gonna try and find something can he find anything pajama llama gonna have to be on the defense here saints are still putting on the pressure despite being up two goals minute 20 seconds left in this game if Saints keep playing the way they're playing this game is going to be going their way and it's going to be a tied series but it's a shot on target from Lucio as I say that and it's a 3-2 game this game is far from over I know it's only a minute left but <laughs> we just saw a 10 minute overtime not we too did. long ago so anything is possible in Rock League that's why this game is so exciting and uh what do you think the Saints need to do to hold on to this lead? I feel like there's two different types of mistakes a team can make. The first is being under or overconfident, you know, uh, making silly mistakes, trying to go for something that they really shouldn't, they have no right going for, or underconfidence, or just giving the opponent team too much respect, playing oh no. too Save. safely when they should be playing a little bit more risky, and that just allows the opponent team to take the game into their hands and play the way they want to. I feel like the Saints are doing a little bit of that against University of North Texas. I feel like they're letting the University of North Texas steer the momentum of this game a little too much. Uh, I feel like the Saints need to treat them with a little less respect. <laughs> you know, just, well, obviously, you know, treat your opponents with respect. But I mean in the sense that try to get away with things you think you can't uh, because you just might, especially since you are a high-level player yourself. Just because you're playing against other high-level players doesn't mean you need to stop all your plans. Yeah. Um, but right now, we have Lucia trying to carry it down to the center. It's going to get pinched towards the angle in the corner. Nitrix and Spoods carrying it down. Spoods keeping it aerial. Electro Wave swatting it down. Ten trying seconds. to center it towards the Saints. Nitrix in the air. Bounces it towards the net. Spoods goes for the shot. Vesh on the backside. Lobbing it in. Not going to get in, but that's not going to touch the ground just yet. If it hits the ground, that's going to be the game. There and it just is. it does. St. Clair Saints Green takes the second game in this series, tying it up 1-1 against the University of North Texas. And so far, things have been looking pretty close. Close. <laughs> I think <laughs> yeah, the last word. was it? It wasn't 3-2 last one, no? I think it was. I, I think, think it was, was a one-goal game, yeah. Yeah. So If I'm not wrong. 
three two on the second game at the very least three two in the previous game maybe oh, <laughs> memory right. memory Memories of the of us. Um, but in the other times that we have this game going up we're going into the next game for this series and it's going to be a lot of nerves for both teams the whoever wins this one is going to have a lot of momentum carrying them forward uh, a lot of mentality is going to be on their side and it's going to be hard to come from a loss in this next game how do you think that these teams might try to adjust well both teams know that if they lose this series they're out of the tournament all that work that they made earlier yesterday and all week will be for Basically nothing, mm -hmm. but and of course every team wants to win. Every team wants to get that first place, get into those finals. So losing in the in get the court the prize top four. exactly. <laughs> you don't want to be losing in the lower bracket, especially after such a close series mm -hmm. in the top bracket. But uh, both teams have ended up here. They are here, and it's one one. It's it's showtime now. It's, it's showtime. Yeah, I feel like I feel like game three is always showtime in a yeah. in a best of five. I mean, in a best of three, it is one hundred percent. But I feel like in best of five, it is still very much very showtime important. because whoever wins this game is gonna have two up against their opponent, and then it becomes a real life or death bout as we head into this next game, game three of University of Texas for St. Clair St. Green for the CRL Fall Open number three. We have Vesh and Spooz trying to oh, center around it, but the clean drift shot right into the net, bounces off the corner and goes flying down in. Well played by the Saints. Very just... Simple. Uh, it's just <laughs> simple. I feel like goals like that just remind you that even... The, the undefeatable knights can bleed. Yeah. If you can get through their armor, you oh, can and make again. anything happen. Oh, and again. Oh, Nitrix could have had a very good opportunity there, but didn't find too much. And one thing I want to point out on is the series score does matter, as we've seen teams play differently on, depending on what the sco Absolutely. score series is. We've seen some teams being especially down. Especially the Saints. Yeah, especially the Saints. You know, when they're up, they're playing well. But Pajama Lama gonna have a shot on target here, right off the post. He's gonna want that one back. That was a really, really big opportunity, but couldn't find the goal to bring. University of North Texas back into this game and Saints are going to be able to defend it out. Well played by them, but Lucio going to take it over to defender. Very, very nice play there from him. Pajama Lama going to fly across. It's a shot on target, but Vesh is there for the defense and Saints are able to get rid of the threat. Very dangerous attack there coming out from University of North Texas right off the post, but couldn't get the finish. Now we see Lucio just flying through the air. Nitrix is there on the defense of Pajama Lama. Oh, I mean, Electro Wave is going to look for a shot there. Vesh gets a nice little save and Saints are able to get rid of the threat. Maybe a bit of a threat of their own. But no, Lucio's there to clear it out. Gonna be finding Spoods in the air here, and the challenge is gonna go towards the right side of the field. It's gonna go over Spoods head here, over to Nitrix. Nitrix with a nice little touch. Maybe he can get a nice little shot on target here. Huge demo there for Electrowave though, and Spoods is not there to help him out, not there to give any bumps. So the side of the University of North Texas find a nice little defense there. Lucia is going to take it towards the corner here, but Spoods on the defense yet again is able to find Ooh. the great play. He's able to take it all the way up the field. Can he find a nice little center here? Two defenders are needed to stop him, and they do, but that makes space for Vesh to come in with the aerial attack. Can't find too much with that. Electro gets a huge demo on Nitrix, but it doesn't lead too much as it's an easy save for Lucia. Three minutes left. Saints up 1-0. How are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, very good, especially oh, after that save. shot there. The University of North Texas is playing on the back foot so far. You'd think that they'd be the ones on the aggressive side since they're down one, but the Saints have not given them the opportunity oh, spoods? to breed. Spoods looking to repeat the nice previous one. Fish. Vesh makes sure it goes in, coming up from the side. That shot would have most definitely been blocked up by Pajama Llama or Electro Wave, but Spoods coming out and Vesh just making sure that goes in. Actually, I feel like that would have just been Spoods' goal. I don't think, I don't think it would have went in, actually. I think those need a touch by really? Vesh there because I don't think it was on target. I think it was more of a pass play and uh, well executed there by the Saints. Now taking this 2-0 lead, looking very, very strong in this game three. And as you said, game three so, so, so important mm -hmm. in this series as the teams will change up their game plan on depending on who wins and loses this game. But Saints are looking good halfway through this game, having a nice little 2-0 cushion, but a bit of a dangerous attack here coming up from side of University of North Texas, not able to find too much with the Spoods, gonna find a clearance. Can he find this little center here? For a teammate, gets around one defender, can he get around two? Demos, Pajama Lama, is best there on the follow-up. He's gonna be able to take his time, but not too much of an opportunity here. Lucia should be able to clear that one now. Right over to Nitrix, however, but can't find the best touch there, Pajama Lama. He's looking on the defense here. Spoods gets a nice little attack going, but Lucia is going to be there on the defense as well. And he's going to be able to clear it out. Now he's going to be able to have a chance for University of North Texas. Shots right oh. on target. And Lucia just takes it up the field by himself. 1v3 type mode. 
and easily just swivels through all the defenders. Gets a really nice flip there into the finish. Spoos and Nitrix not able to slow him down. And just like that, they're back into this game. This game's far from being over. I gotta say it. I they made the Saints look like amateurs in that one. They they really did just outplay them in every aspect and just sinking that net in. Obviously, Saints being one of the best teams in collegiate esports and every sport they play, Rocket League is no exception. But in that moment, they looked like a group of Bubba players. That was very well done by the University of North Texas, just showing that they still have gas in the oh, tank no. and boost in the tank I guess <laughs> whatever you call it in Rock in League. <laughs> boost in the boost tank and we have Vesh and Nitrix trying to make a play happen here but Lugia is not gonna want that to happen Spoots sending it down and now they're gonna be having to scramble oh, for the remains chance. Electra Wave almost gets a shot on the net but thanks to the Saints defense it's not gonna happen Nitrix is trying to 50 out but they kind of just end up playing neutral there Vesh is gonna get demoed out he's not gonna be able to play for quite a little bit here. oh that's the a goal gonna be made on the net as he's gone you don't have your Vesh in the net it's just gonna be a free shot Spoots is elsewhere and Nitrix was too far behind that's gonna go in without contest yeah we haven't pointed to it that much but demos are a crucial part of Rocket League and I feel it feels like every time there's a demo it just opens up so much space for either side. And right there, University of North Texas, with that demo, able to find that goal. Bring himself back from down 2-0 in this game three. Absolutely great play from them. But oh speaking my of great God. play, Spoods able to take it alone. A bit of a defensive misplay as he misses the ball right there. Who was it? Electrowave needs to get a touch on that. He's going to be kicking himself for that one. But Spoods, nonetheless, with beautiful play, able to fly in there and give Saints a quick 3-2 lead. One minute left. University of North Texas need to turn it up to 150%. A loss for words. It's almost like he, he went for that shot and then just paused time for like 10,000 years and just calculated every possibility. Saw the one where he got the goal and oh, went Vesh. for it. That was a little bit more simple from Besh. No uh, alternate timeline shenanigans there. Just, I see the nets open. I'm going to take a shot and nobody's going to stop me. Electra Wave kind of in Lukia as well. Not going to be able to chase that out. Um, they're both kind of just stuck there in awe at the gall of Vesh to make a shot like that. And it went through. It paid off. Yeah, and that's a, that's a good win. That's a good goal for the Saints here. Should lock up the win if they can just play solid defense for 45 seconds. But we've seen University of North Texas score two goals really quickly this game already. Hopefully the Saints don't let off the gas pedal as Spoods. It's going to look for yet another one. It's a nice little attack there, but Electrowave with a very, very important save for the side of University of North Texas. The ball's going to be in a bit of a danger here now Ooh. for the Saints, but Vesh flying out of nowhere to save it. And with 22 seconds left, you have to think the Saints are going to be able to take this one. Electrowave gets the demo, and they're going to be able to get maybe one more attack here going. Could even get a goal here. It's looking a bit dangerous actually for the side of the Saints. Can they get the finish? No, Nitrix gets a little touch over to Vesh. Vesh going to get a, it. a fifth goal and his third of the game. That hat trick yet again for Vesh. And Saints are going to be able to take a 2-1 lead in this series. Look at that touch. Beautiful. Exactly what was needed and it was just so graceful to cement the Saints' victory unless University of North Texas can score five goals in the <laughs> second, um, you know. No, it's not going to happen. But they are going to be taking us into our game four, potential last game of the series for the Saints before they advance, or University of Texas can bring it back after this one. Either way, it's just a matter of time before the ball hits the floor, and we're going into our next game of this best of five series for the CRL Fall Open number three. Yep, well said there. Well played by the Saints. You know, they did give up that two-goal lead, and University of North Texas did find two goals. But after that, they turned up, scored three goals in the last two minutes. Very, very well played by the Saints. And as you said, they're moving on to match point five more minutes away from advancing in the tournament. Potentially. Well, hopefully. Or five minutes away from another uh, game five minute <laughs> overtime. Who knows? Yeah, you don't know. But uh, with our Saints, there's always exciting action. And uh, that's what we're seeing right now. Absolutely. That game was, was very close for the most part, like you were saying, um, after uh, University of North Texas tied it up just a little bit. But then Saints just kind of take it away. Way, get two, three more goals to just really cement the fact that they are going to be taking this series uh, or taking this game, the series, is to be decided in this next game. Either we're going to go to a game five or we're going to end out the series in the Saints' favor. Either way, it's going to be very exciting indeed as we go into the next one with Theo. Have you, do you feel that the Saints have made any particular adjustments that have allowed them to kind of carry forward this momentum? 
Uh, they, I think they started uh, going less for those like very, very difficult plays, and mm. they're finding goals with just the basic, simple, nice little pass here, a bump here, a finish here, True. and not trying to go for those aerial pass from one side to the other. Like, it's it's hard to do. They they're capable of doing it, but against good teams, there will be a defender to close it out. So I think playing a much more simpler way of Rocket League is working out really well for the Saints, and they're not trying too much advanced stuff. Just basically getting the basics down to 100% and if, if you know anything about anything, <laughs> basics are like the most important. If you 100%. have the basics down, then you can start doing the more advanced stuff and I think they have the basics down better than any other team we've seen so far. Reducing this things down to the fundamentals, down to the core elements of the game. Car move, car hits the ball into the ball, the ball moves, you want to get the ball to move into the net, right? Ooh, such a scary 50 to try to take if Spoots won that out. That definitely would have been a goal. Nitrix taking the shot. Dash not too far behind, but it's going to get cleared out before you can make anything too much of it. Trying to make a mountain out of a molehill, exactly what the Saints are trying to do here. There are a lot of molehills, but one of them has to become a mountain eventually. Spoots. Not going to make it quite there, but Vesh is going to be here to try to get the recovery. Nitrix is going for the center. It's going to be up to Vesh and Spoots to capitalize off of it. Vesh on the backside. Spoots, again, not too far behind, taking it towards the wall, but it's going to get cleared out by Pajama Lama. Nitrix is going to be the sole defender here. Vesh, not too far behind as well, is going to be able to get the missile shot out of their side. Spoots is going to get the full clear. Lukia is going to try to meet him, but he's not going to be fast enough. Spoots crawling on the wall like a spider looking to see if they can try to make this go their way, but Pajama Llama just misses a clear, perhaps, perhaps intentionally to get the ball to go a little bit further out away from the Saints, but now there's a bit of a kerfuffle going on left side, cars are getting piled up on top of each other, and now it's just a race to see who can get the ball back in their favor. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of deja vu, 0-0 zero, zero to the first minute and a half, uh -oh. but as I no, say that, a little bit of a caster curse going as we do basically every single game, it feels like Lucia. Oh, yeah with the full court shot. There was a nice little demo coming out there, but uh, yeah, see that demo yet again. Vesh is just gone, and when as soon as they get that demo, they just send it in there. There's no defenders on the side of the Saints, and University of Texas take a huge first goal in this game four as they look to stay alive in this tournament. Maybe they can get a quick second one. Lucia here on the attack. Nitrix in on the defense. But Pajama oh. Lama, uh, yeah, there it is. There's a quick second one that they needed to push their advantage and taking this 2-0 lead in this series, Saints need to turn it around desperately. I 100% agree here. It feels like the Saints have been hit by a flashbang. Like, they, they can't see, they can't hear. Everything is just kind of getting discombobulated and scrambled around. But through all that chaos, the University of North Texas, they're used to getting flashbang. They can play just fine. Uh, and they're going to be taking this moment of, it seems, uncoordinated play from the Saints and they're going to be making the most of it. Nitrix trying to clear this out. Lucia is not too far behind. Bouncing it off the wall and Spoods to follow. Trying to get through, rolling around, catching as much boost as he can. Oh, Pajama. Pajama Lama trying to get the center. Lucia is on the floor below. Vesh loses the 50 to him. Nitrix now cradling the ball away, carrying it up, flipping it up towards them. Lucia off the wall, into the air, rolling the, words, rolling the ball towards the net. Electric Wave is going to catch the clear. Vesh now and Nitrix clearing it out. It's going to be rolling. Vesh shooting towards another interception from Lucia. Now Nitrix and Spoots chasing towards the wall while Vesh tries to get the center. If Lucia was orange, that would have been a goal, but thankfully oh. he's blue Spoots out of nowhere. nowhere. This is why you have to pay attention to the traffic because a car can come flying <laughs> at any point just like that. Boom! Nice. That's going to be a goal. Saints are clearing out that goose egg and turning it into a big, strong one with two minutes left in this game. Yeah, the flashbang has wore off now. Now they're <laughs> full HP. Getting that goal back is huge for the Saints. Two minutes left. They need to find another one to at least tie it up to, to win it. Uh, let's see if the Saints can get it done. But University of North Texas, they're showing they're not a team to be played around with. They've already taken a game with the Saints and up here in game four on the attack, looking for a dangerous attack again. Lucia gets a pass to Pajama Lam. It's a shot on target, but it's a great save by Vesh. And Electro Wave gonna look to put on target again. Is Spoo's there to save it? Yes, he is. There you go. That's the good fundamentals there from the Saints, able Absolutely. to save out all the all the 
Although, offensive there, it's a nice try by Lucy. If he got a touch on that pass, that would have been a rocket flying into the net of the Saints, but he was not able to. Vesh going to try and take it himself. A bit of dangerous play in front of his own net. Nitrix is there to clear it out, though. Electrowave trying to find something on the offensive here. But he has no boost, so he needs to back up a little bit. Lucia is going to back up as well. And Saints able to control the ball here for a little bit. Pajama Lama and Electrowave on the attack, though. That's a dangerous ball. It's right in front of the net. Pajama Lama can't get a good touch, but it's right there for Nitrix. Gets the save. University of North Texas, even though they're up a goal, they t are pushing the pace. They're trying to get one more. They're trying to close this game out and mm -hmm. be certain that they can win. As you know, in Rocket League, a goal could always happen just out of nowhere. We've seen it a thousand times. But with a minute left, our Saints are looking to get a goal back. And the University of North Texas having some good play there. It's going to drop for Electro Wave. Electro Wave. Can he find finish? No, he does not. Messes up a little bit there. That should be a goal, but the offense is not done yet. Pajama Lama looking for an attack. Lucia is going to have a huge 50 here. Nitrous, Nitrous can't get the gets shot, shot on target here. It's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but it's a great save coming out from University of North Texas and Spoods. Going to try and take it toward the corner. Going to have a nice little touch here, but Pajama Lama is here with Lucia on the defense. It's going to be a big clearance here. Huge there from Pajama Lama. Yeah, 30 seconds left. Saints need to get a goal back here. They need to find it. They need to find it somehow, some way. Spoods getting this into reception might be the key to victory. Oh, pitching it down. Vesh and Spoods, but no, they aren't able to it. steer it where they need it. And Spoods is going to get the demo. But again, it's just they get the demo all the time, but just never when they need, need them. It, yeah. He's already back in the game, already has boosts to spare, but they're not going to be able to do anything with it. Vesh now and Spoods so desperate to try to turn this around, but it's already on their side of the field. There's one second left. If this ball touches the floor, oh, it's going over for them, and that it is. It's going to be a victory for University of North Texas. And just like that, yet that again, also felt short. And that's going to be game five. Yet again, we come back to our favorite, our game five, which oh, yeah. we have seen so many of today. But the more the merrier. Our Saints able to take the first game five, lost the second one, but here, this third one, mm. I think I think they're going to be feeling good. You know, it's a close series. I think there's not a big skill gap between these teams at this current moment. Both teams playing at a very, very high uh, high rate, but I have seen a couple of mistakes, which I'm not used to seeing from both sides. Completely so uh, right. hopefully both teams can clean up and play a bit better Rocket League. There were some chances where it should have been goals and some chances where there were chances made out of nowhere, just randomly. It's like, whoa, the zone scored from what? Oh, just random mistakes on the defense. So hopefully we can get a bit cleaner gameplay in game five here. But game five, as we've said a couple times already, is where all the pressure is. All, all the pressure mounts on you on both players. Both players mm -hmm. will be like, just nervous. Out of it. Yeah. They'll be nervous. No, they'll be in it, but they'll be nervous. <laughs> they'll be shaking. They'll be like, you know, it's. But the thing is, the best players have been in these situations so many times. I was times. just going to say, the Saints yeah. have been here before. They've been here They're going to be here again. And they'll be here again, even after today, no matter of what the uh, of what happens in this game five, as mm -hmm. you know, we see CRL every weekend. Yeah. And just on the same topic of the best of threes and the best of fives, I'm realizing now that, yeah, they won one best of five. They lost the other one. Uh, hopefully the oh. best of five game is not a best of three because they're 1-1 one, one right now. And this could break their curse with this best could. of fives. If they win this one, they're 2-1 <laughs> in best of fives. But it's not going to be enough to just hope for it. They're going to have to work for it. Oh, there wow. it is. Oh, Such a close see. shot. Pajama Llama cradling this ball like his future depends on it and that it just might winning here could be huge for both of these teams Spoo's gonna have to bound this out gonna get into a bump with pajama Lama. Oh, danger. quick oh, little battle Spoo's perfectly centering that off now that's gonna allow the clear angling it away Vesh gonna get the interception off that roller try they're always trying to make the shot roll up the side of the net so it can start falling towards the center oh that's danger Oh, that was a coordinated clear there from both uh, players on the side of the Saints. One uh, pinched it down, the other shot it out. Spoots and Nitrix, a very strong duo. Nitrix finally gets the clear out. The ball is rolling towards an empty net on the sides of the University of North Texas, but Lucia is going to be able to come around. Spoots now off the wall, cradling it down. Gets to try to go for a pinch. Oh, nice pass. Doesn't quite land. The ball's rolling, the smoke right clears, there, and right the ball there. is right inside of the net. Backflipping oh. it towards the net, but it's not going to go in. Spoods now off the wall, passing to Nitrix. He's going to drift, slap that into the side of University of North Texas. And oh, Spoods so just close. whizzing by like a bullet. Spoods now coming back for revenge. Going to try to get the clear, rolling off the side of the wall, but Theo 
Things are looking very hesitant for both sides. We've seen the situation before. We have seen this before. Zero. I was about to say, but I just want to say, I think University of North Texas are just looking a little bit stronger in this game five so far. Saints playing a bit dangerous around their net. And there's a shot on target, but it's a great save by Vesh. I mean, Saints have been playing basically perfect defense, though, like uh, pixel perfect. One tiny mistake, and there could have been a couple goals already, but well played by the Saints. They know their limits, they stay within them, and they're playing well so far. Two minutes gone into this game, no goals yet, a bit of a slower paced game, as you said, but here's gonna be Lucia flying through the air. Can you get the touch there? No, it's great defense coming out from the Saints as there's just cars flying everywhere. I was about to say bodies, but we're playing Rocket League. <laughs> as it's a nice touch by Vesh. It's gonna be a shot on oh, target by him. The 50, and oh, what a pajama defense. llama! By pajama Almost pajama coming out like a shadow clone, just duplicating outside of Electro oh Wave and goodness. just coming up to save that. Nitrix trying to 50 with Electro Wave, but that's not a very easy thing to do. He seems oh to my be Electro consistently wave. winning two 50s in a row, but Vesh is going to clean up the scraps and allowing Spoods to center it down the center. <laughs> and Spoods coming back again, just trying to get these interceptions. The ball is getting passed around like a ball. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do with them. I mean, yeah. But eventually, someone's going to have to go for it and send it into the net, just like Spoods is there aiming is. to here. And Lucia is not going to get the read on Spoods. Very difficult to do. I can't blame him, but he was able to find it. And just like that, rolls it in over him. In fact, bumping him out of the way, too, just for extra measure. That's a huge goal for the Saints in the game five. Two minutes left. And as I said, time and time again, if you can get that pass off, from above the net and get it to bounce back to you, it makes scoring the goal so simple. And there we saw it. Saints just need to hold on for two more minutes to take this game five, but nerves are gonna be rising. Now we're gonna see probably a bit of desperation coming out from University of North Texas as they get a huge opportunity there, but it comes right off the post and they're gonna be kicking themselves for that one. That should have been a goal for sure. Saints slipped up a little bit, but Saint, uh, University of North Texas could not find the advantage and that's a huge mistake coming out there. Spoot scores the second goal and it's looking like our Saints are going to be taking this game five as Lucia makes a crucial mistake. That they may. It would be quite remarkable for University of North Texas to scoop it back up, but it's not looking, not good. looking likely. Uh, the Saints have found what they needed to get their momentum up and keep things rolling in their just favor. A third. So it's just a third goal here, utterly shattering the hopes of University of North Texas. And this seems to be going inside of the Saints. A minute and 27 seconds left. It's not impossible, but again, very, very difficult, especially the way that these goals have been scored. It's almost like they've been met with no resistance. Yeah, Saints are going to be looking very good. This game is getting very close to being over. Only a minute 30 left and the University of North Texas had that one chance. Had that chance go in, maybe we'd be looking at a different game, but it didn't. And the Saints are looking very, very strong and look to move on in this tournament. Another game five, another clutch performance by our Saints as they're going to be looking for a fourth. Nitrix and Lucia fighting up there, but with a minute left, I just don't think University of North Texas can find anything. Well, then let's see, Saints are another looking. Another goal for the Saints potentially, no, but no, Lucia, Lucia, Lucia gets a wanted. save. I don't think University of North Texas want to give up any goals anymore. Like I think they're out of it a little bit. They know the conclusion to this game because there's going to be a shot on target, but Pajama Lama is able to get the save and with 40 seconds left, I don't think there's any way University of North Texas can come back. They haven't had a chance to make a shot in the net of the Saints for quite a while now. Nitrix, Spoods, and Vesh just making it very, very daunting to attempt such a thing, just keeping the pressure on their side of the field. Spoods now rolling it towards the center. It's up in the air. Electro Wave could go for it, but he chooses not to. Spoods is going to take the opportunity to, though, trying to get the 50 pinch towards the net, but Electro Wave is going to save and clear it out. Nitrix getting a nice little tap, allowing Spoods to try to recenter, rolling it towards the net. Lucia is going to pounce it back. Another Nitrix one. passes oh. it towards, but Vesh is not going to be able to get the counter. But it doesn't matter with two seconds left and three goal deficit. Saints are going to be taking this game five and advancing on in the series. Yep, and they're gonna be in loser semis now. University of North Texas, well played to them, but they are out of the tournament. It was a great series from them, but just a bit of a breakdown there in game five. Uh, just couldn't find anything. Saints found three quick goals and put them away, and they're off to the semifinals of yeah. the loser's bracket. Just like that, the Saints are able to once again prove that they are a dominant force in the Rocket League world, one that they should not be messed with. But 
just after we come off the heels of such an intense, intense match, it's very hard not to forget that we have more coming for you. Possibly and let's see more. what we have coming up for us. If we take a look at the bracket, we can see who our next opponents will be. It's going to be Algonquin College. And if we win that one, we're going to be against King University. Two rematches in a row, potentially, for the Saints. Familiar faces that we faced off against earlier in the tournament, St. Clair. Saints lost to King University in the winner's bracket and beat out Algonquin College. So hopefully the Saints can muster up all their might. But U-Ottawa beat King University 3-2. Yeah. So it was a close game themselves. This tournament today seems to be close all around. Yeah, Not a lot of 3-0. Uh, we only saw 1-3-0 in the upper bracket to start and then two in the lower bracket. And then from there only saw two more for the rest of the tournament. Everything else is 3-1 or 3-2. Yeah. It's very, very tight for these teams. But just like that, Saints are going to be able to advance into the losers' semifinals to face off against Algonquin College. But until that time comes, we'll be waiting, and I hope you wait too. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this break.
Hello and welcome back everybody to the loser semi-finals. We have a little bit of a rematch going on here between our Saints and Algonquin College. And Algonquin getting off to a really, really good start there but could not get the finish. An exciting matchup, exciting rematch. It was a 3-2 last time these two teams played and Saints were able to take the, the game five victory as they're gonna get a quick goal here to start. A bit of a demo going there and Spooze able to get the finish assisted by Vesh. That demo was crucial, allowed an open net there, and uh, Saints able to take a quick lead. Hopefully they can keep the ball rolling here. And that is impressive indeed. Theo, we've been watching the Saints go on a tear through this tournament so far. The ups and the downs, Algonquin College being in the lower bracket is oh, a testament it, to one of our ups as we were able to beat them out earlier before, but they could also be one of our defeats now that we're facing them again in an oh-so-critical match. A loser of this faces off against King University to decide who gets to advance to the grand finals to face off against U Ottawa for the chance to win the CRL fall open number three and back to action here we have the Saints are up 1-0 against Algonquin College freshness oh. duck and Trey a familiar trio we've seen already and it seems they've been bring they've been brought back with reinvigorated and uh, renewed intensity I feel I, I feel like they're playing a lot more aggressive than they were even before and I feel like one of the major adjustments they made before was cranking up that uh, the aggression yeah. and attacking more often but right now it seems they're doing it even harder which I like to see yeah but the Saints for the start of this game have been on the offensive most of the time they haven't given up any space but now they're gonna have to play a bit of defense there's gonna be attack coming up from Algonquin Vesh gets a little 1v1 with duck but duck gets a nice touch towards the middle can't they find anything balls right in front of the net's in danger Ooh. area but Vesh coming out from the side able to save it out Spoos and just control it pass it back to Nitrix and Nitrix gonna go for the aerial attack can't find too much of that it's great defense coming out from Algonquin oh nice little touch there over the defender it's a shot right above the net it's a huge touch from fresh prince so if he didn't touch that that would have been a goal most certainly spoo's gonna get it over his defender but trey is there for the defense gonna pass it duck great save by vesh very crucial one at that if he didn't get a touch on that it would have been bad but there's a nice play coming out from algonquin but they oh, just can't get the ball shots. in the net two posts coming out from them <laughs> they will not be happy with themselves after that as that should be a goal every single time still down 1-0 with a good amount of time left on the clock halfway through this game. Spood's gonna look for an opportunity of his own, but it's saved that one. Is there a goalie for the side of the Saints? Nitrix gonna get a very crucial touch there to make sure no rebounds are able to come in. And Vesh on the attack in the air. Seems like there's not too many defenders, but there is. Can't get up in the air there, and Freshness is gonna get the clearance going so far. Pretty aggressive gameplay coming out from both teams. Both teams looking to score a lot of goals, but Algonquin getting a bit of better chances in the last few minutes. And now we have Vesh going on to turn away here, just cruising down the center. Nitrix Spoods not too far from the action as well. Freshness off the ceiling. Spoods is going to get the interception, rolling it towards orange side. Trey is going to try to come around and wrap it back, but it's not going to be that free, not that simple. He has to go across the net, traverse the globe, it seems. It feels like sometimes the distance that can be covered in a second in this game, but it ultimately won't matter if you can't get the ball in the net. Spoods is trying to do just that right now to cement the advantage the Saints have. 1-0 oh, right now, another post, crossbar, oh, this nice one, finish. but Nitrix just clips it up and it's going to bounce off and go right into the net. Very, very well done from the Saints. That's what you love to see if you're the Saints. Just keep the pressure going, keep the shots going on target, taking a 2-0 lead. Hopefully that is enough to close out this game one. And Algonquin College, you know, we did see them score six goals, was, was it? And it was an absolutely crazy match, but here just cannot find anything to go in the back of the net. And Saints on the attack yet again, maybe looking to get a third and completely put the nail in the coffin here. Nitrix gonna be in the air, passing it over to Spoos. Can Spoos find anything on the attack here one-on-one? -on -one? Doesn't get it on target and Freshness able to clear it out. It's a huge number by Duck onto Nitrix and Saints. Gonna have to drop back a little bit here on the defense, but they choose not to. Spoods going in. Duck gonna have a lot of space to work with here on the counter attack. Can he get a nice little touch over Vesh? No. Great defense coming up from the side of Vesh. But Trey, it's gonna look for a cross of his own. Can't find too much. 
Freshness gonna put it in the middle, but Saints re able to retain control. And with 55 seconds left, they're looking really, really good in this game one. Looking to not take the foot off the gas pedal though, because Algonquin have have shown time and time again that they they can bring goals just out of nowhere. If it seems like Nitrix though taking himself great save, they're coming out, and Saints are just looking to burn the clock a little bit here. Don't have to be too aggressive anymore. Up 2 0, obviously, feeling very, very well in this game one. Absolutely. And the Saints feeling confident here, coming off of a victory against the Algonquin Callers for the first victory of their day. Um, they have the benefit of that confidence that they can beat this team, and they, they feel like, of course, that they will. Um, Algonquin College, both teams have had the benefit of you know, post-match hindsight to think about how the other team's playing and how they can beat it. Um, ultimately, no, thou, ultimately, though, they're going to have to put those theories to the test here. And I feel like when you have the confidence on your side, like the Saints do, it might be that much easier. I but get a third. When you get a third off the zero on the clock, that's just going to be another boost to that confidence that I'm talking about. And the Saints are going to win this one in quite the... Once again, confident fashion, taking the series 1-0 against Algonquin College. Yeah, we've seen our Saints get off to strong starts in the series so far. Hopefully they can keep the momentum going and just get a clean 3-0 to save up that energy that they've wasted so much. Not wasted, used so mm. much of today because it has been needed in these best of fives. If they can get a quick maybe 3-1, 3-0 would be very, very beneficial for them oh, to give yeah. them some time just to relax a little bit and have some time to breathe, have some time to think, maybe water review, watch the other matches, yeah. see what you can improve on. And that, that's absolutely crucial in every single game. As we're going to get started game <laughs> two here, never mind. The players Broken said they want their break right now, not after <laughs> the series as a... Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a little bit of a pause as players get back into the menu. Probably just some technical issues, but 100%. happens all the time in every single game. Not a big deal. They'll be back in just a second. Mm -hmm. What's what's uh, it's a, f a point that I just realized isn't even gonna play a factor in the series is if the Saints win this 3-0 or if they win this 3-5 or 3-2 with like a 20-minute overtime. It's not gonna matter. Their opponent's waiting for them yeah. in the next series. They're not gonna get a break. Oh yeah. They're gonna go out of the action here and into the next series again. That's if they win. Same thing is going to Algonquin College if they win this one they're going right into the match no matter how quickly or how confidently or yeah. how decisively they win it they're not going to have any time to kind of recoup or consider next steps it's going to be right into the action against king university no less a team that we've seen can Very really strong. make things happen um but as they're still remaking the lobby theo tell me your thoughts on how that game one went and how you know algonquin college could try to turn things around for the better and try to make this series their own yeah, it was it was well played by the Saints. They mm -hmm. played a solid defense. You know, it was a 3-0, but it was really a 2-0, that last goal. We'll count it yeah. on the score sheets, but <laughs> it was kind of like, ah, eh, it's not too bad, but it was a nice goal as we're going into game two. But yeah, as you said, Saints just played very, very solid, solid Rocket League. They found a couple of really nice goals with those demos and uh, able to make it work. As Spoo's on the attack here very, very early, maybe looking to find something. Can't find too much. Nitrix is going to have control of the ball a little bit here. And uh, he's going to look to find an attack of his own here. Going to pass over to Spoods. Takes over his defender oh, right no, off the post. But nobody is there to follow up. Can Vesh find anything on the attack here? No, he cannot. But it's a nice little pass over to Spoo. He's going to put it into the middle. Nitrix flying in through the air. Going to get a pass off the backboard. But not able to find the goal. Vesh maybe going to look for a goal of his own. No, we're not going to be able to find it there. It's Algonquin College on the counter attack. Going to look for their own opportunity maybe to bring this little back into the series. A nice little shot on target, but Nitrix is there to save it out. Trey going to look for an opportunity of his own. Is able to get it right in front of the net. It's a dangerous situation, Ooh. but it's great saves coming out from Vesh and Spoot to keep Saints. It's 0-0, and they're still into this game. And it's going to be a battle for this next oh. one. Vesh taking the battle. Not goal. the war quite yet, but it can definitely feel like it after you lose in a way like that. Oh, Look at that. Flick right into the top of the net. Algonquin College is going to have to do their damnedest to recover after that one, Theo. Yeah, they're going to need to. They're, need, they're, they're not happy with that because they just were on the offensive, putting in work, getting shots on target, saves coming out from the Saints. But... Saints just get one attack. Vesh gets a nice little flip reset into the goal. And Saints are definitely feeling very, very good. They don't want to spend too much time in this series taking a 1-0 lead in this game too. Trying to wrap this one up quickly because they know they can. Vesh on the defense here. Going to try and find it. But Duck with a very nice start. Spoods and 
Nitrix there on the defense are able to close it out. Vesh maybe looking for a nice shot across the whole field but can't find it. Gonna get a nice little pass to Spoons Ooh, and that's so much pace on that beam. ball. Absolute laser beam going to the net. How fast was it going? 78? I think it was going faster than that. I Absolutely so. rifled in there. No chance Yo. for the defense to save it. And it's a 2-0 lead for the Saints. Looking very, very strong in this game too. I gotta admit, I stole that from Patrick whenever he casts Rocket League. I, I love when he says, an absolute laser! <laughs> it's it's really cool. Shout out to Patrick if you're watching, and if you're not, shame on you. Okay, <laughs> but in the meantime, while the Saints are still battling for their lives here, Spoods is going to try to kind of recoup this one. Vesh doing a nice pirouette in the air. It's not going to matter too much as it gets stolen away from him. Nitrix now taking it to center field. Going to get intercepted by Trey. Just such an elegant dance of mayhem. It feels like at times carrying it on the nose of his car and having someone steal it out from under it. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but they make it look like it. Nitrix now going to be able to cut the momentum from that ball. Oh, that's a the chance. The duck. It's going to get the shot, and Nitrix tries he might. is not going to be able to stop that from going in the net. They were able to coordinate off of every single bounce that ball made so perfectly. They tried to clear, but they cleared it right into Ducks, waiting, waiting, open arms, and they're going to take that to be a goal for Algonquin College. A very, very big goal for Algonquin College there. Saints were just looking dominant right before that happened, but now it's a 2-1 game. There's still a lot of time left in this game. Only half the game has gone by. Saints going to look for an attack of their own as a uh, Esh gets a nice little attack going. Nitrix, can he find anything? No, he does not. It's going to be a shot on target from Trey, but not too much going there. And Spoods could find a really good opportunity here, but Doc is there on the save. Vesh, though, going to stop the counterattack just like that. Can he find a touch here? No, he doesn't find it, as it's going to be a nice little opportunity here for Algonquin. Duck with a shot on target. Oh, and I don't know if he was do. bumped or if he jumped out the way, but a bit of unfortunate defense there. And the Saints can't hold on to their lead oh and so close nitrix so close right there but couldn't get it and it's a 2-2 game algonquin has all the momentum now and the momentum is going to be what they're going to have to rely on to take the series if they want to after losing that first game of the series saints now tied up with algonquin college 2-2 algonquin college is going to have to carry the fire of passionate dreams and hopes and whatever other flowery language you want to call it in order to oh, win the series and that's what they're going to do in that moment exactly taking this game now to 3-2 in a very very strong goal coming up from duck off the bounce off the wall, he's going to be able to send that straight in. And like a minute and a half, Algonquin able to find three goals back to back to back. And the Saints are not going to be happy with their performance. But the game is still far from over. Spoods gets a nice little opportunity here. That's a great pass. Is anyone going to be there to follow up? No. Duck is there on the defense. And it's well played. Algonquin have kind of cleaned up a little bit. And playing a little bit better than the Saints now. Even after being down 2-0 so, so early. But Nitrix gets a huge touch there into the middle. Can't find the finish. Spoods now on the side trying to find something. But no. It's cleared out by freshness. Vesh going to give it over. But Duck in the air is able to clear it out. And now Algonquin with the lead looking to get their fourth but it's a great save coming out there it's still in the danger areas it's right in front of the net can Vesh to get the clearance he should be able to here no Spoods is just going to pass it out to the side and with a minute left Saints need to turn it up now they need their goal they've allowed three in a row without answering at all and freshness gonna look for a nice attack here but it's great defense from the side of the Saints one mil left what do you think the Saints need to get this goal back I think they need an empty net and players on their team to try to score right now it feels like they haven't had either at any point in recent history here there there's just been a lack of shot attempts very recently and I feel like if they're gonna Ooh. try to get any goals they're gonna have to actually try to get them um, not to say that it's anything easy I know Algonquin College has made it very difficult for them indeed, but it's something that they're going to have to do regardless. They're going to have to take some risks, and they're going to have to pull out all the stops in order to get this to go their way. Freshness is not going to let such a cheeky little carry go through. Again, you're going to have to get a little bit more clever than that to get past Algonquin College's defense. Duck throwing it to the center. Freshness misses the touch. Vash is going to be able to scoop that up, send it flying down towards orange side. It's going to bounce up to the side of the wall, flying towards blue corner now. Nitrix rolling it up. It's going to be flying down back to orange side. Spoods coming off the wall, trying to center it. Touching, touching. Vesh tapping it up. Now it's one bounce away from ending the game. Vesh carrying it up. 
Fresh is looking to spike it down, and that he does. That's going to be the game for Algonquin College. Now we're tied 1-1 in this series. St. Clair Saints, Green versus Algonquin College. They are fighting tooth and nail to stay in this tournament. Both teams are, and it's going to be... Uh, I can't even say how this is going to turn five, out. Game 5, I have a feeling... Most a likely. Sneaky suspicion we might see yet another one. But uh, Algonquin College not going down without a fight. Being down 2-0, get three unanswered goals and able to take Game 2. That's absolutely massive for them because being down 2-0, having to reverse sweep yet again for them would mm -hmm. have been so excruciating. Now they have that little bit of cushion winning that game. They can they can build off that, what they just learned in that game, how they were able to score three unanswered goals. Saints are going to have to look over that as well and just say, guys, we can't let this happen. As we get into game three, a bit of a kickoff going towards the side of the Saints. They got a nice demo as well for Vesh. And I think whoever scores first this game will be able to take it down. I think the first goal is going to be absolutely important. What do you think? I think it's going to be critical. Um, we've seen the Saints go from winning a series confidently and clearly to not scoring a goal for another 20 minutes. Um, we did. <laughs> we did see that. <laughs> and uh, I feel like if the Saints want to kind of dispel any doubts that they have about themselves, they're going to have to get a goal and they're going to have to get one soon because if they lose another shot here, it might start to oh, affect them and it might start to affect them hard. As Spoods tries to get the clear out. Vesh chasing it forward too. Spoods is going to try to clear a path, but Duck jumps over him. He's not going to let him get bullied. That's a goal. Bouncing off the crossbar. Oh, That's nice. going to be a goal. Just like you said, Nitrix so confidently taking that. They're flipping and joy the Saints with rejuvenated life coursing through them once more are going to take the first goal of the series. A bit of a misplay with Algonquin. They kind of went all out. They had one defender on the defense and uh, he just couldn't do enough. He got the initial save but then there was a pass off the backboard for Nitrix. Very, very well played and uh, that's the basics. Yet again, you need defenders mm -hmm. back on the defense. Nitrix able to take advantage of that and able to take out freshness with a demo here. And the uh, Saints take a 1-0 lead and I said whoever scores the first goal will most likely take this game. That's just an opinion, it's not a fact. But uh, let's see if uh, Algonquin can prove me wrong, as they are gonna prove okay. me wrong. Trey says, Theo, you gotta stop caster cursing absolutely everything you say. We're gonna get one back real quick, and it's a 1-1 game, just over a minute gone. We should just stop all speculation at this point. It seems that they're resisting all of our urges to predict <laughs> and try to decide how things are going to go based off of what we're seeing. But I'm going to do it anyways. I'm oh, pretty no. confident the Saints are going to take this one. Oh. But Spoods is going to try to make that dream come to reality as he passes it to Vesh. And Vesh just toe taps oh, it towards the net, but it hits the post. Nitrix trying to recoup. Duck is not going to allow that to happen. Vesh catches it out of the air, spinning now, trying to regain control. Going forward, Spoods now. Rolling, taking it to the corner. They have to play this very carefully. A single sub up here could allow them to lose all the momentum that they just worked so hard for. Oh, now that's a good pass. Open. Trey oh is going to be able to bump goodness. that in. Flying through the sky. It's going to fly in gracefully like a bird. I could just see it coming from a mile away. Nice pass from across the field. Trey with a beautiful tap. And uh, it was just it was just so well played. You can't get mad at that. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful team play. When you see goals like that, it makes you it makes you say, "Wow, well done." But uh, Saints are <laughs> well going <laughs> Saints are going to do a bit of well done of their own here. Now they're down two one in this loser semifinal. They, they're making my prediction look very very bad. Of whoever scores first is going to win the game. As a uh, Freshness, gonna get a nice little bump on the defender there, but it's a great save by Vesh right off the line. Huge heroics coming out from him there, and now Spoo's on the counter-attack, takes Ooh. her out one defender. Very, very nicely done there, Vesh, can you get the finish? Yes, he well will, and just done. like that, it's a 2-2 game. Just Impressive over two minutes. Impressive, too. The bounce over both defenders to get the single touch. Trey misses. Spoo gets the bump. <laughs> he got the bump Ooh. on the defender as well after such nice play, so Spoo's one-upping Algonquin College on that goal, and uh, it's a 2-2 game. I feel like if the Saints do lose this one, though, you could be held liable. Uh, uh, since he, <laughs> I think it's a direct curse that he made. Uh, but it but looks like worry. they're going to be winning this oh, one. Never right. mind. <laughs> I was going to say, don't worry, Spoots got my back, but does not get the finish there. Vesh with a very important touch there above the net as Duck put a shot on target. But in this 2-2 game, we're only halfway through this game and so many goals scored already. Four goals 
Both teams playing very, very aggressively, looking for his chances. And there's a nice touch by Freshness. No, he misses it. That could have been a crucial goal for Sadra Galkwin. But now on the counter attack, can Saints find anything Ooh. right off the crossbar? Is there anyone there for the finish? Comes in Vesh, but it's great defense from side of Freshness. Gets a crucial touch for Sadra Galkwin, and it stays a 2 2 game. It's a nice pass over to Vesh. Can he find anything in the middle? No, it's great defense for Sadra Galkwin. And I think this is the first time in a while this game has calmed down just a little bit. But I'm just kidding. Freshness going across the whole field trying to find. To finish. Spoods is there to clear it out. And yeah, just non-stop action. Great shot from Vesh. Is anyone there on the follow-up? It's right there. Nitrix, come on. Get it in there. Nice pass to Vesh, but Algonquin are able to read it and play perfect defense. Spoods goes for the attack there. Can't find a tray now. Can he clear out this dangerous ball right in the middle of the net? Yes, he does. And uh, it's a nice touch. Saints are putting on the aggression. They are the more aggressive team right now. Vesh looking for the finish there. Spoods, can he find the finish? Oh my god, it's a great save by Freshness. And Saints are looking are looking to find this goal, but they just can't. Algonquin keeping them on the back foot. Now they get one counter attack. It would be brutal if they score here. But the Saints Ooh. are able to clear it out. Is it going to be a shot on target from Freshness? It's a good save from Spoods in the air. Doesn't let her bounce off the back of the net. But Doc is going to be able to find a good of an opportunity. Oh, and oh my god. Goodness, beautiful mechanics there by Duck. Gives Algonquin a 3-2 lead with a minute 10 left. I'd like to get a look at that again, that's for sure. Look at wow. that. Wow, so the nice. Touch of destiny, and there wasn't a saint in sight. They didn't even think that was possible to go in, I'd bet. But there it is, Algonquin College proving the theorem of whatever you want to call it, goal relativity. And it's going to go in very flawlessly. Trey now trying to repeat history with one minute remaining. Both teams here can't take this game away. It's best. It, this is a uh, game three of the best of five. We were talking about how important this game is for any yeah. series, especially if it's one-one. It can really decide how the momentum goes going forward. If anybody is going to win the series, the person who wins game three is definitely going to be feeling a lot better going into it than the team who loses it, because at that point. The team who wins game three basically has a second life oh. here. But Vesh almost took that away from them. To give him that one on one, though, that's dangerous play from the side of Algonquin. Never want to give that. To they Vesh. have been playing with confidence. They've been taking these aggressive duels and the mechanical outplays. They're just believing in their mechanics. And with 10 seconds left, Saints need a goal here to push it to overtime. Otherwise, they will lose this game three. As you said, so, so important. Three seconds left. Now they just cannot let the ball drop. But Freshness looking to spike it down. Can he find it? Yes, he, he does. does. And that is game three. Going over to Algonquin College. Now our Saints are on the back foot for the first time in a while. It feels like every time they're up 2-1, they're never down 2-1 in the series. They're going to have to bring it back, and uh, it's not looking too good for them. The Saints are going to have to start making some prayers if they want to have hopes of recovering in the series. It's going to be 1-2 for this best of five. If Algonquin College wins this next game, Saints are out of the tournament for this week. But if they win it, they're going to be taking it to a game five, and that's going to be the one that decides everything. This could be the last game we're seeing for the Saints today, or this could be the beginning of a legendary lower bracket run. Who knows, Theo? We're only going to be the ones that have the pleasure and the absolute joy of bringing this game to the people at home and I can't wait to see what both teams have in store for us tonight. Absolutely, I mean we've seen these two teams play so many games tomorrow, uh, today sorry, it's been absolutely crazy, it's game five in the first series, now we got a game four here, zero zero, we've seen many many goals shared between these teams, two powerhouses trying to make it to the losers final and eventually to the grand final, but yes as you said, Saints being down 2-1, this is where the pressure rises most. They do not want to fall short in this tournament, but uh, Algonquin is trying to knock them out after losing to them earlier in the tournament, trying to get their revenge as Trey. Gonna try and get a shot on target. But Vesh is there with the defense. It's danger though, as Freshness gets a nice little center going, but it's great defense from the side of the Saints. Vesh and Spoots both just hit it one into another and clear it out all the way. Gonna have a second to breathe here as it's gonna be kicked up to Spoots. He's gonna be able to get a nice little touch. Ooh, and the nice back little of his car is gonna catch that. Very nice played by him. Duck though in the air, looking for an offensive assault of his own Nitrix and Vesh. So they're, they're starting to send two people I noticed for those aerial battles, mm -hmm. as Algonquin only sends one usually every time. So Saints playing a little bit more scared. I don't want to say scared, but more like safe, making sure they don't make that mistake. But that's why Algonquin has been able to play so aggressive and score so many goals, because they're just taking the risky 1v1s to set up other people on other sides of the field. So very well played by them. A minute and a half in. 
And there, oh. there's a goal coming in from Freshness. A Gonquin just able to take an early lead just around. He got a nice little bump on the defender there and a beautiful touch. That. Wow, wait. How could he, How do you defend against that? You don't. <laughs> you don't. You send two. That's why they send two. I feel like the only way they could defend that would be an interception, but that is such a risky play to make. And like you said, the Saints are playing a lot safer right now. If they wanted to intercept that one, that would be sacrificing one of your potential defenders, but having two defenders there wouldn't, you know, didn't save them there, so maybe that might have been yeah. the suggestion to play to go for. But in a minute like that, in a moment like that, you have to make a split second like decision, and that's not the one that they chose. They're going to have to live with that, and they're going to have to play their best to Besh. capitalize off of it. Vesh cradling this forward trying to get any amount of carry forth but not going to be met with much reception now we just have nitrix and spoods off the offense here we have vesh waiting the backside but they're going to be carrying it forward he's going to meet it in the air to get the cut but it's not exactly oh, going to get cleared out vesh still trying so hard but he's going to get demoed by trey i thought vesh demoed him if anything oh. spoods has to come around the corner here someone's probably waiting for him vesh is going to meet him on the side Gonna go for the goal, oh, and he makes finish. it! Tying it up 1-1 one, one in this game for Theo. Oh. It's looking very intense. Indeed, nobody's out of this just yet. That is tragic for Algonquin. They had such a nice play set up. It was a pass in the air and an absolute laser into the net, but it hit right off the post, and just like that, St. Clair was able to find the counter attack and find the goal. Beautiful goal by Vesh on the solo, as he has done time and time again, but the ball's right in front of the Saints' goal, and Trey says, you guys will not have this lead for long. About 10 seconds after kickoff, is able to find the goal and put Algonquin back in the lead. Saints on the back foot after getting back back into the game must be so heartbreaking but they cannot give up they cannot let up they've been here before they'll be here again this time they need to focus up and get this goal back but when your back is against the wall that's when things really get intense when you're when you're cornered and you have no other options all you can do is fight back with two minutes and 15 seconds left one goal deficit against Algonquin College the Saints must be feeling backed into a corner that's when the inner beast comes out and they're gonna have to let loose and let oh. it out well, now with the two goal deficit and two minutes left the Saints are gonna have to pull everything that they have inside of them to recover and turn this into a victory. I've seen them do it before. I think they can do it again. Two minutes is not does not feel like a lot of time, but in the it world is. of Rocket League, it, it can be. So they're going to have to have their work cut out for them to make this happen. But if they do pull it off, which they can, they are going to be feeling very, very good afterwards. A shot onto the net is not going to go on. But Nitrix trying to go for a redo here. Spoos is going to miss the interception in the air. Vesh is waiting the net patiently. Duck goes for the 50. He's not going to meet it. Vesh now going and chasing it towards Duck. Spoos is going to meet it first. Nitrix waiting atop of the post, bouncing it up, sending it towards the side of Algonquin College, but it's not going to go through. There's just too many bodies waiting oh, for the see. ball here. Spoods now has to get the chase. Nitrix flipping oh, that's the air. It. Oh, that could have been the goal. But it's not gonna work. It's not gonna go in. Spooz now has to work with the scraps that he's left with. And it's now just a couple of seconds of destiny with one minute on the clock. One minute and ten seconds rather. Duck and Spooz battling it out in the corner. If they can just get this clear, Spooz is thinking they can try to get a center into a perfect goal. But Vesh is being tied up defending, and Nitrix is not in a very good position right now either. He is now, though. He's able to get the clear. Nobody's going to challenge his 50. He's going to spin it up. Spooz is going to get the touch to allow it to bounce off the top, but two defenders are going to meet it in the air. And now Nitrix and Vesh are going to be trying to bounce that back with Spooz trying to meet it in the center, but it's oh, going to hit the post. Oh, nice he's not going to calculate it just enough and now Nitrix trying to go one more time setting it but he's going to get met in the air once again Spooz meeting in the corner trying to get something anything with 30 seconds on the clock two goal deficit the Saints have to do something anything to remain in the tournament here but Algonquin College feels good they feel ready to challenge anything because even if the Saints pull back they still have to win one more game in the series Algonquin College is feeling confident, Theo, and I, I think, think they might have won I this. I think that's it. Eight seconds. Vesh, if that went in, maybe, maybe by some miracle that could have done about three seconds left, that is going to be the game. Congratulations to Algonquin College on moving on to the losers' uh, final. And an uh, unfortunate exit for the Saints. You know, they beat Algonquin earlier today. Couldn't beat them the second time, but still 
a very, very good run for the Saints. They showed their resilience after all those three twos, after those that crazy loss, able to win. <laughs> the overtime. The overtime. Oh, so many overtimes. But it was an absolute <sighs> great day of Rocket League. Unfortunately, our Saints fall a bit short. But uh, congratulations to them. They played well. Congratulations mm -hmm. yet again to Algonquin on playing even better. And uh, yeah. That's all I got for you there. <laughs> <laughs> and one hell of a match. Like I said today, it was very well played by both teams. It was such an exciting battle. Um, and all the matches that the Saints played today were all so exhilarating. Even the 0-0, 10-minute zero, zero, yeah. overtime especially, that one's going to be one for the history books indeed, especially among the broadcast team. We've seen some overtimes. Oh, I, don't even, I don't think that was the longest one we've seen, but it's definitely up there. It's the longest I've seen. <laughs> it's the longest we've seen. Welcome to broadcast, <laughs> my friend. We've seen some crazy overtimes indeed. Um, but let's take a look at the bracket to see where Algonquin College has their line of victory towards the end of today and how they can turn this victory against the Saints into a potential tournament victory if they pull through. I believe, I believe King. Yeah, King University would be the next team they face off against. And then after that, they would face off against the winner of Algonquin versus King University faces off against University of Ottawa or U Ottawa. Um, that would be the grand finals matchup. Um, but with such a good day of Rocket League, I don't think that a single person has any doubt in their mind that our Saints are one hell of a team. Of course, yeah, our Saints, I mean, put on quite the performance today. It was super fun to watch. We saw ups, we saw down, we saw mistakes from one person, mistakes from another person, but in the end, they managed to close it out. Usually, last last uh, matchup against Algonquin just couldn't get it done. Uh, we were talking about the physical and mental health needed to, like, play these long games mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that might be a yeah. big big reason to why they might have lost playing those 20 minute games those best of fives it really tiring. is excruciating and it I is wouldn't tiring. be surprised if I see Vesh walking out with like a splint on yeah, his hand like, you know yeah, yeah but I mean good good, good Rocket League it was at good the Rocket end of the League. day May the best team win, and the yeah. best team went out today, Algonquin College, playing so well. Um, but with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to say our thank yous. <laughs> First and foremost, thank you to you for joining us today. Thank you to Theo for joining me, and thank you to me for joining him. Um, <laughs> yes. I'm Daniil, Betterson McGee, Theo, the Holy Juan, one of our legendary Overwatch players <laughs> on our academy team. And thank you, of course, to our sponsors, the St. Clair College Alumni Association and the St. Clair SRC, along with HyperX, Subway, and Tim Hortons. I'm going to grab me some Tim Hortons for sure when we're done here For today sure. and uh thank you to the staff in the back we got tommy holding the fort down alongside jace um another so there's a player we were playing against called storm he's also known as storm, storm as well man. we got a lot of storms going on uh, in st Clair college for some reason today but nonetheless it's a pleasant storm indeed and with all that being said uh be sure to join us tomorrow i believe we have necc valorant academy i think we're gonna have a solo stream for them um but of course broadcast schedules uh they are very subject to change so who knows yeah uh, but tomorrow that seems to be the plan for now but unless you have anything else to say Theo? no no great day of rocket league and yeah mm -hmm. thank you thank you for joining us thank you for the cast and uh we'll be seeing you tomorrow with some valorant see you guys take care